beans. Because I'm sure you're ready to see the amazing story of how Rachel Amber is the greatest person ever. You ready for shit to get strange, brothers? You ready to girl boss gatekeep and gaslight one more time? Why the anarchy symbol? Because Chloe is a punk. And that's that's what punks do. They they anarchy. They they punks what they do is they unify themselves under one symbol. Alright, gamers. It's time to girl boss, gatekeep, and gaslight once again. The sequel, the prequel even. Let's go. Also, yeah, I'm sure my choices totally matter in this prequel game. <laughs> Don't get your feet stuck in the railroad tracks again. I, Frank really is just like me, for real, for real. Is that train's call sign really lead? I missed that. Oh, good old Chol. Oh. What the fuck? This is different. No way. Okay, this is a different voice actress. This is not this is not Ashley Birch Chol. Where is my where is my Chol? Honestly, these controls are probably a bit better for making choices. <laughs> fuck you, fence. Holy shit. Oh, she's trying so hard. Is that is that Frank Beans? Betting stub. I'm so used to <laughs> If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. <laughs> Out chewer, Goldie. Oh, this is Frank. Cause yeah, he names his clients after dogs. <laughs> or not. Damn. Mind your own business. <laughs> oh my god, that was the most fucking limp slap I think I've ever seen. God damn. Come on, give give Frank Beans his ride a bit of street art. Yeah. Yeah, graffiti, let's go! Oh my, I get choices in what to draw, and it's not like Max's fucking Max face. Hmm. Free candy, I like candy. Perfect. Excellent. What, what are your I'm thoughts? Sorry, officer. It says what on the side of my RV? Oh my god, we're already off to an amazing start. Whoa, gas can! I can't wait to light stuff on fire with this, because I love anarchy! That's what she's gonna say. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Oh, she's... Since when are you fucking OSHA regulations? Fire. Some say the world will end in fire. No, it'll actually end in a giant tornado. I wouldn't know anything about that, though. Uh, look. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. How about pay him money? Alright, what? I feel like the canon Chol answer is, let me inside now. She just takes the most direct approach possible. It is very girl boss. A backtalk challenge? Excuse me? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Is she looking at me? Why are you looking at me? Don't look at me, Chol. What the fuck? In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. <laughs> you own the libtards with facts and logic! This sucks! Oh my god, there's a girl boss minigame. Oh, here we fucking go. Pay attention to what your opponent says. Bedtime. Oh my god, this is some Sherlock shit. <laughs> uh... Your bedtime? I don't, I, I don't know. He looks like he could be in his early 20s, maybe. Fuck it. It's your bedtime, idiot. Aww. I don't do cute. I'm a girl boss. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. You're not tougher than this guy. Look how fucking thick his neck is. Besides who gets uh, this is awful. Bosses suck. Girl boss gatekeeping gaslight. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer. Right? No. Nope. You're a bouncer. It's your job. 
to like turn away yeah. people who don't accept no for an answer. That's why you're a big muscly dude. Don't care. What if I had You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you're right, kid. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, you're all right, kid. You've girl bossed me. <laughs> yeah, this guy's a terrible bouncer. <laughs> we owned the libtard. Look at her, she's loafing. It's perfect. Aw, oh, pet the doggy. I'm gonna pet this, <laughs> this toddler eater. Fuck yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> Look at this fucking Toy Story 1 ass dog. <laughs> What's uh what's your story? No, just just like dog? That is an ugly ass dog. <laughs> oh this dog! Oh this dog is killing me right now. Look at its fucking face, dude. What is the dog doing? I don't fucking know, man. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Dude, this is the show for her. You'll know when you're older, chill oh right. Anyway, uh, take. Twenty bucks, baby. Twenty bucks? That's robbery. That's surprisingly like normal for a shirt sale at like a concert. Really, twenty bu twenty bucks for a shirt at a concert is like, yeah. There we go. Girl boss. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Uh some things never change, huh, Chol? Now I take a shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. Good. Yeah, just shove it in your ass, troll. What is that? Is that a handicap fund? I should steal it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. It's too in character. Steal it! <laughs> it's in character. Troll would do it. We're girl bossing. You're rich, it's 200 bucks! Ah, uh, bong. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. Oh my god, we're off to a fucking amazing start. <laughs> we like just started. It's been like 20 minutes. Frank Beans! They got him back. Uh, how about some weed? <laughs> Well, good thing I got 200 bucks now. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Well, that's convenient. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Nah, he's the best. I beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I do cramp Frank's style. Look how cool he is. Poster. Classy. Oh, has it got two girls making out on it? Chloe, that's gonna be you one day. What does that say? Skeevy guys? Okay. Sketch Central. You do have kind of a meth face. Where's your meth baby? Sawblade. Ooh. Graffiti. Graffiti. Spin! Spin! Damn. There are a lot of people here. Look at them fucking go. God, they're they're really schmoving. I wasn't going to. There was something on the wall there. Ooh, beer. Give. Yeah, take a beer. I can't wait for Chloe to not be able to handle it. Come on, make a grimace. Grimace. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Aww. I thought Chloe wouldn't be able to handle it at all. Better to be pissed off than pissed on. That sounds like advice that Shrek would give. Well, well Chol's having a good time. Oh god, that man was staring right into my soul. Music's too shit for copyright. Eh, it could oh my god, stop that! Yeah, I think I think this is all we're gonna get. It's just her. I don't know what she's doing. What is this? What is this dance move she's she's doing right now? Okay, at least Chola is starting to realize that she's way in over her fucking head. Oh, <clears throat> it's her, Rachel. I mean, come on. 
We girl boss. <laughs> nice. So you you see now, Rachel is our chol in this game. See, Frank is protecting his lady. Even now, Frank is still like a consistently written character. The writers gave a shit about Frank. Oh, she's girl bossing so hard right now. Yeah, where's the Frank spinoff game? I need a Life is Strange game where I get to play as Frank. How far you've fallen, Square Enix. It's like, damn, can you guys go back to the writing level of Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> Gay plus punk equals gunk. Is that Max? Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Max looks... She looks off here. The art looks different than it did in the base game. Like, the first game, even. It. it she looks kind of like a weird alien. Look how far apart her eyes are. That's an alternate. <laughs> oh my god. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus, I have a sweet-ass black eye for a souvenir. No big deal, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh, God. Oh, girl boss harder, Chloe. Oh, yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chol greater than Max. Oh, my God, she's so bitter. Oh, the periodic table. Oh, we can improve the periodic table. Fuck yeah. Uh. See, you just need to replace this one with an M. Or maybe... Hmm. Maybe this one with a GG, this one with an ER. You can, you can, you can do some, uh... You can do some work with this. Oh, I know these. I know these fucking losers. There's bitch. There's crazy. That one's haircut. He got hit in the head with a thing. That was great. I loved that. Class act. The devs who worked on the first game gave this game to a new team and told them check. That's why this game has lore inconsistencies. Wait, a lore inconsistencies page in the wiki? <laughs> Bro, Life is Strange has lore inconsistencies from like the first episode onward. Give me a roar. How good am I looking? Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. It could, it, it could be so much worse. You could be dead right now. And wouldn't that be something? Pirate hat. Yeah, her energy is like totally off. This isn't the troll I know. Oh, here we fucking go. We have bonus outfits. Gamers, we have bonus outfits. What are the bonus ones? Bird skull square Enix member. I'm not a square Enix member. I didn't. I never asked for this. I'm not. I don't support Square Enix's decision to own this game. Hmm. Well, this is the shirt we stole, so I feel like that's the most girl boss. The butterfly is thematically significant. Yeah, but we stole this shirt. Exploding of shard. Good job. Whoa. She's got boobies. Dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Yeah, but boobies didn't die. Those are those are still real. Fun fact: shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. See, Chloe knows more about marine biology than the fucking writers of the last game who thought that humpbacks were gray whales. Alright. 100% of the shots. You know, 90% of gamblers quit before they hit it big. I hope I can find blue hair dye. I hope that's the first fucking thing I can do in this game. Is just dye my hair blue. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna girl boss. Book. Look. I want mom to be happy, but not like this. Not like this. Jesus, that's that was a line read. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. There will be consequences for this. I will remember this conversation. What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. A Carl Weezer voice. Ah, Jimmy. I think I should dye my hair blue, Jimmy. I think it would impress your mom. I like how you can tell. Like, look at the edges of this. That's a that's like a fucking that's a PNG, and they didn't do a good enough job. 
You could see the edges of the white outlines. Just got here, did you miss anything? Th that is the most pointless question you could possibly ask when I'm playing this fucking game. The answer is no. No, you will never miss anything. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Trash! Alright, Chloe, get in. That's the plant where I hit the keys. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so... Nobody's fault, really. Oh, boo-hoo! My dad is dead! I, I feel like I don't have time to look at all of the garbage and hear Chloe's amazing insight on it. Chloe, talk about how your dad died. He spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Yep. Uh, Jesus fucking- Oh, I got options here. Fuck yeah. I get to start arguments with my mom about all kinds of things. It's just like real life. Is it desynced? No, the lip syncing in this game is just that bad. We need to make more Again, you should have seen the fucking last game. Be understanding or say what you feel. Well, I think there's only one option here. Why should I be considerate of other people's feelings when I can be a girl boss? There's been a great shortage of gaslighting compared to girl boss. And we haven't had that many opportunities, honestly. Mom. I don't know where I To gaslight? Yeah. Or gatekeep. It's... We're, we're overloading on girl bossing. Shake. Okay, chill, dog. The house is being painted blue, just like my hair. Good catch. He does. He looks like J. Jonah Jameson. Oh my God, and he needs photos. That's why he. That's why he likes Max. He needs photos of Spider Man. And a Minecraft villager at the same time. Parker, get in here! I need photos! Photos of Spider-Man! I mean, after the first Life is Strange, do you think these people would want to come back willingly? <laughs> I mean, they need the paychecks. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> give, him, give him the fist bump. No, we gotta leave him hanging! It's the most girl boss thing to do! It's what Chloe would do. It's in character no, for her. No, that would be gatekeeping. You're gatekeeping your- Oh, I'm gatekeeping- I'm gatekeeping the fist bump from him, you're right! Oh. How you do anything is how you do everything. I know I can't leave a man hanging. But you're not a now man. Now I need a shower. You have to think like a Chloe. I have to think like a Chol. Every house needs a good toolbox. We already have a toolbox. You're a real yeah, toolbox. But, but thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Your stupid dead dad's toolbox sucks ass. Probably why he's dead. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. Okay, so there's the some things I want to be real clear about. <laughs> oh, time, time. <laughs> oh, time to own the lip tards with facts and logic again. You get to see the girl boss mini game. I think it's time I sh language. Oh boy. Uh, mustache. Mustache. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take you seriously with that mustache. Oh, I think that gave him a point. So smart. Too bad you don't know who you're dealing with here. Let me dumb it down for you, Let idiot. Everyone, I mean, hang on to your sorry. bracelets. What has We're about to go into Apollo dumb? Justice cross examination. Hey, oh my God. I can crap bigger than you. Got it? Oof. <laughs> I thought I smelled crap, idiot. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. Uh, it's so bad. You... Your mother... <laughs> this is what happens, by the way, when you smack talk the guy your mom is dating. At least she has a heart, she has a idiot. Heart. Just feel bad for David. He did nothing wrong. You fool. You have no job. Welcome to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. He existed in the presence Ooh, of Chloe. That's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is gaslighting. Are we gaslighting? I feel like we're kind of girl bossing. Mission accomplished. <laughs> we we've girl bossed him into no longer caring about us. Cool. Thanks. It's my dad. He's ghost dad. That was Bill Cosby, right? Uh he who? Dad, turn it up. Turn it up. Turn that crap down. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. Oh no, he's gonna get hit by a car.
Is that you? No, that was your controller against your Oh. Desk. It was vibrating. Oh, because I got hit by a car. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's aversive. <laughs> it's making my whole room shake. Hey, Chloe. Hi, generic guy. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? You are. Yes. And you should see the other guy. Is this, true, is this yeah. Chols Warren? You... Yeah, we've got J. Jonas Jameson, Harry Osborne. Uh, Plot twist, you are Spider-Man. Oh my god, I could be Spider-Man. He looks like a Sims character. He looks so generic. Yeah. Alright, do we want to go see a play with this man? This boy man? No. No. That sounds awful. Gatekeep yourself from him. We're gatekeeping. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Oof. Me too, I guess. Oof. Cringe. All right. See you in cam. Yeah. See you in cam. For sure. Gate capped. Gate capped. Hey, it's a skater boy. See you later, boy. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. He wasn't good enough for What's him. going on? No. Uh, Rachel Amber. Have you heard of Rachel hey. Amber? I Press and hold right click to view my objective. Okay, cool. Good Good job. <laughs> Could, couldn't remember that one when it's on your phone, could you? Good job. Well done, Chol. Well done. A very, a very brainy lass, our, our friend Chol. Why she walk like that? Oh, well, you can't pay by the way I use my phone. Anyway. I'm a woman's woman. <laughs> You're wearing a fedora? Wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department yeah, of Forestry, over 90% of this no. season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high. I think like 2015. Preventable. Yeah, fedoras were cool. The, fedoras were never cool. Bruno Mars was wearing fedoras. Oh my god, he was, wasn't he? Oof. Oof. This guy's not Bruno Mars. Uh, wildfires are awesome. I mean, they are good for the environment. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Yeah, see, this guy knows what's up. She's so artistic. I bet she you can't just call a girl artistic. Oh, wait, that's yeah. the other one. Hmm. S smoke weed the bear. Happy to support such an important cause. Bruno Mars, Fedora. Uh, this guy's still not Bruno Mars. Tomorrow's leaders. Principal Dix. Big huge, big McHuge balls and smoke weed de bear. Damn, you haven't got Thanks one real so signature. Signing my petition, smoke weed de bear. Only you can prevent ganja fires. You haven't gotten one real signature. Womp womp, big sad. You're not real. You're not real. You're an NPC. You're an NPC. You're not real. You don't really exist. Why are you sitting like that? You're not L. You don't get to sit like a fucking weirdo and get and be like quirky. Chloe, jump over this. You're a punk. No. You can't let these barriers stop you. You're letting the man keep you down. I know those people are who I have to talk to, but I need to I need to see other people. Is that bitch? Is that bitch? Yeah! Sad face. Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber. Do tell. Uh, <laughs> we killed someone. Sabotage her homework. That sounds pretty gaslighty. Fuck it. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last yeah, her face looks hard, way right? different. If but her voice sounds the same. It's it's the, it's the opposite of everyone else in this game. Uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? So Perfect. fuck you. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. What a walk cycle. What are what are you up to? Your name is not Skip. Your name is not fucking Skip. That's like a like one step above Chip as a name. Yeah, which one would you rather have? 
I guess chip. Okay, so that's a step below chip. Oh, skip. <laughs> Skipper, Skippy. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. Pisshead, huh? Or anything. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Uh. Pisshead. Do we want to listen to a, to music from a band called Pisshead? Yes. Yeah, I think we do. Uh, okay. Great. You've convinced me. You're You've convinced me to let up on my girl bossing. <laughs> Call the band Gum Shit next time. You know what? This isn't bad. So, what did you Honestly, it's not bad. Yeah, it's very good. Good job. Yeah, aside from the name, Skip seems alright. You're, you're an alright dude. You're not Frank tier, but you know what? You're getting there. You're okay in my book, Skip. Wasn't very gaslighty of you. Uh, hey, man, he makes you make some good music. What can I say? What's up, lady? That's the same NPC. The same guy. He's walking the other way now. I, I knew it. Chol went to a concert. She was a bitch. She crashed a man's car so that she could steal this t-shirt because she didn't want to pay $20 for it. Do not walk on stage. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just had to do that, because it told me not to. Fire safety. Hmm. But I wonder if this will be relevant. relevant. We said that at the same time. That was no, creepy. Chloe. Chloe was a bitch. In other words, the sky is blue. You're the same guy. You're the same fucking guy. That's the third time now. You're not real. You're an NPC. Okay. Can we smoke and contemplate? It's like, we're alone with our thoughts. Yes! They kept this from the last game. <laughs> Does that make me just the same as every other student here? God. Nah. Fuck that. I'm I'm not like these people. I'm I'm not like these sheep. I'm so different and unique. That's why I smoke in the same smoking corner as everyone else. Do not walk on the stage. <laughs> I'm walking on the stage. Walking on the stage. Walking on the stage. Gonna sit on the crate. Can I be alone with my thoughts again, please? I should yes! be getting to class. Twice in a row! So, oh. Last night really happened? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. I'd like to point out that at, at like this point in the in the first game, when Max is saying, oh, did that really just happen? She's talking about traveling back through time. When Chloe says it, she's talking about seeing Rachel Amber. The game thinks both of those are equally significant. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? Is that a... Uh, I can't... Uh, yep. I, I was gonna say something off-color. I'm just not gonna. Stop! Why are you like this? It was gonna be really funny, but I, I, I held back. What were you gonna say? Is that a black face? I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish He doesn't look like he's made out of wax as much in this game. Oh, do we get to That's what I thought. Oh, I thought we were going to get to fucking get into an argument match with the principal. How does that sound? Oh, we do. Oh fuck yeah. Let's go. It's time to own him with facts and logic. No. Oh my god, guess like so you're going to mouth off. To okay, me. I get like no chances. Uh my well is deep, bro. He just well says the end. Words. Words. <laughs> that again, I'm gonna shut up. Jokes in my experience. That's how the guilty cover up their infractions. Yeah, no saves coming. Uh Article 420. Clearly, wait, wait, shit. No, that's wrong. Oh, fuck. He won. I, I should have said that the guilty have rights. God damn it. Fuck. I just saw article. You are admitting to having consumed marijuana this morning. Ah, I should have called him the N word. God damn it. Anyway, let's talk to our dork friends. She looks like she's skipping almost. Hum dee dum dee dum dee doo. Hey, what are you doing? Samantha? Yes, Samantha. What are you up to, bitch? 
didn't think you did homework. <laughs> this girl looks like she's 13. But the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh, what, what do I like about Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I, I don't know anything about this story. Do you? You read books. I haven't read that one. Then it's funny. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. Oh my god. People always say that. Self-awareness, just like a little, a little reflection. Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. People talk shit about you behind your back, Chloe, by the way. But you wish you could rewind time and stop yourself from saying that people talk shit about me behind my back, huh? Huh? Oh. Hand. Hand. I'm so fucked. Why does her hand look like that? <laughs> Why does her hand look like that? Why can't I move in hand at the same time? Uh, what's up, dorks? It's so stiff. It's the dork brigade. Wee woo, wee woo, dork brigade. If I Fuck it, let's do some gaming. Let's, let's play a game! I understand. That's... Oh, what the hell? Completely out of our depth when we're when we're doing this. Here's a character Andy. sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Don't I get to choose that? <laughs> oh, apparently Introduce that's me. Your character. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named. Uh... Hmm. All right. What do, what do we name our character? What what is our OC? Please do not steal. Barb. Barb. Good. Bar. Everyone is saying Barb. <laughs> Barb. What makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once met a na man named. Oh wait, I once made a man kebab. I thought she said. I I thought that said I once met a man named kebab, and I thought that was gonna go into a limerick. <laughs> She's not that smart. <laughs> I once met a man named Kebab who really liked corn on the cob. Yes? Alright, let's go straight to the fucking boss battle. You we're let's do the boss battle. We're we're girl bossing. You Come on, Barb, what you got? Uh alright. This is this is the most important choice we could possibly make in this game. Annihilation strike. Annihilation? What do you think what do you think, gamers? Annihilation. It's in the name. I, I do like the sound of annihilation. It sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, leg. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankle. Brutal. Ooh, I just. <laughs> this game rules. <laughs> I just cut your fucking legs off. This game is awesome. My feet? My feet? My feet? You can levitate. You're a wizard. Oh. Yeah, great job, Barb. What should I do? Cut off his arms, too. <laughs> All right, what's... <laughs> Turns around and just beats up the other guy. Dance off, bro. You and me. We did the conga. I could do this for money. I don't, but I could. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Let I've been impaled before. I've played Devil Seriously? May Cry. Well, if I swing for his arm, I cut off his bracer, so... Fuck it, I'll, I'll give fucking No Legs Kirby Boy a chance. Bring DM is shitty, she never rolls damage. Oh. Brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Nat what? 20, there we go. Yeah, Durgron is defeated. Yeah, isn't it great how this is way better than the actual game because we're actually playing a game? I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than Can't believe Barb is dead. Rip rip Barb. That was fun. Rip Barb. Rip fucking Barb, dude. Look, that's Barb. That's her. That's what that's apparently what she looks like. There she is. Yep. You gotta give her bigger boobs though. You gotta give her big old Tanhan Gara Cougars. Those ears, though. Those that, are very pointy ears. Goddamn. The best oh, character in the game is dead. Rip Barb. <laughs> Barb is S tier. <laughs> Let's see what Chloe has written on her on her hand now. Get to chemistry class. Hmm. 
I just said that, but just in case. Who's better, Barb or Beans? Oh, still Frank. Still Frank. Like, Barb's a hero, and we, lo we love a good Barb. But, like, Frank is better. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, no. What have you got here? Twitch. Oh. I forgot that they made Nathan more sympathetic. <laughs> the guy who brings a gun to school. It's just like, oh, let's show that he's getting bullied or whatever. Oh, you're both losers. No need to whoa, whoa. You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coat. Yeah, I'm not falling for the game's bullshit. Family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? You can't just say that to a black guy. Oh no, he's gonna throw it. A piece of shit. He's gonna throw it. Going to kill you. He's gonna make good on that fucking promise. He'll fucking slaughter your ass. Uh, okay, if I step in, that gives me a chance to be a girl boss, but if I stay out of it, then Nathan gets to suffer, and that's good. Because fuck Nathan, I'm not falling for this game's bullshit, you cannot make me sympathize with him. We do got a girl boss. We've got to be a girl boss. What the hell did you just say to me? I called you stupid, cause you stupid. <laughs> You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? The game didn't give me much choice. I just, I just want a girl boss you in, into a quivering pile on the floor. Uh, I'm crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, now it's Chloe's turn to be racist. Piece of, piece of your bromance, bro. You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. Man, you're... You're mean. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Thank you, Nathan, for proving why I should have no sympathy towards Are you. you. All right? Seriously, go fuck yourself. Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family... Oh, by the way, Skip, thank you for not stepping in. You shouldn't have. Because fuck Nathan. I'm the hand. People. The hand. Look at the hand. Look at the hand. Rachel Amber? Oh my oh. god. Yes. She's the best at everything ever. I love Rachel Amber. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. Oh, that's Hayden. That's the black guy with the brain of a white guy. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. I think they actually made him like voiced by a black guy this time. He sounds completely different. And Looking good, Rachel. Never make that noise again. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble. Rachel, you look awesome as always. You're so hot, Rachel. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? The fuck are you talking about? Uh... Everyone just look at me. But do you think I know this fucking play? Um, Miranda's Miranda's an idiot. Oh, because this is a prequel, that means that between this game and the original Life is Strange, the black guy was possessed with the voice of a white guy. Oh my god. To internet or not to internet. But what does the hand say? Fuck. Get. <laughs> you wrote that down already. She just told you to do that. Hmm. Rachel looks so happy here. Rachel Amber also has a dad. I used to have a dad once. 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 Now that I have Rachel's belt. But I have Rachel's belt. I don't know what to do now. My hand, it, it tells me nothing. Should be life. Should be life is strange. Sweet caller, Pepe. Pepe, like the frog. He does look kind of like a sad frog. Like that could be made into a Pepe. <gasps> graffiti, 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 graffiti. Halo for Rachel. <laughs> Horns on Nathan. Absolutely, fuck Nathan. I refuse to fall for this bullshit. Nathan is a psycho. Just keeping it real. 
You don't get to make me feel fucking sorry for him, game. I don't care. The kids who shot up Columbine got bullied, too. Don't walk in on her while she's naked. Thank you. She's already naked, isn't she? Bring it to her. Because she's naked back there. Go for it. Go for it, Chol. You're clearly extremely smitten. Yep, there you go. I brought a belt. You asked for a belt. Uh, a belt instead. Perfect. <laughs> Sigma Chloe. I'll let you finish changing now. I got a good enough view. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Whoa. Sweet. Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Uh, fuck yes! Like, once again, you see that Rachel Amber has become Chol's own Chol. Like, you know how Max basically had no agency whatsoever in the last game? Are you so dumb you even answer rhetorical questions? I don't know. Do you? Now Chol, despite being a character who should have agency, has none, and she's just being dragged around by Rachel Amber. She needs chemistry class because I'm not seeing it here. No, she- R Rachel Amber is beautiful and amazing and really fucking hot. I think she's like 16 or something. And she's really hot, bro, right? So Chloe's in love with her. And that's- that's all you need. Also, what the fuck was that snap zoom? This is a Zack Snyder movie? Where does this thing go? Who knows? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Not Seattle. That's where Max is. We fucking hate Max. I certainly do. Remember the school fires when Rachel was said to have never played hooky and been a punk like Chloe? Me neither! Guess I should sit down. Yeah, I guess she's got her fucking 4.0 grade average oh, while man. taking oh, hobo man. trips around on Rachel trains. Freaking Amber. Rachel freaking Rachel. Amber! <laughs> the joke is that she's being railroaded since her life has no actual agency. Is that what this should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Chloe, you're not fucking dense. I mean, you're dense, but not about social interactions, I don't think. Nice weather. That's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. Good one, Chol. So, oh my god, Chloe is wearing a gaslight shirt. Oh my fucking god, I just real- Oh my god. Dude, you're right. I would like to sex you. I hope not, because I'm- Again, I'm pretty sure they're like 16 here. So that's weird, if there is. We're, we're hobos right now. Like, jump out of the train? Oh, do we agree to do something fun, or do we flirt? Let's do these six. I've been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> that was. Well, I don't know. That that was not. That's not flirting. Okay, something fun. Jesus, that was bad. Truth, yeah, that's a swing and a miss right there. Guess which is which. All right, let's go for it. Sounds fun. This sounds like You're a wrong. totally organic way to reveal character information about Rachel Amber. Yeah, now they're all hanging limbs out of the train. Arms and legs inside the vehicle. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. No, you're gonna be about six feet under. Can maybe, maybe three feet. It's a pretty shallow grave, grave, actually. I'm a Leo. Meow. <gasps> okay, that one's true. That one's okay. true. I'm gonna say New York. Because she wants to go to LA. I'm gonna say New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Uh. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. LBC. The coast is the best coast. No, no I mean, like, I agree with you, but like, don't don't be repping Cali like that. I don't I don't need fucking Rachel Amber representing California. Can we just tell three? Oh my god, if we tell three lies, that's the ultimate gaslight. Fuck it, lie. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. Kowalski analysis. All right, Rachel Amber. You're hella mysterious. No, not Hella! The first Hella! Uh, Hella? The, oh, the ground zero. It's okay. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. She's so smart. 
<laughs> yeah, how how could you know that? Literally how? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was ten. Yeah, so did I. I don't know shit about like radial fractures. Okay, I broke my wrist when I was like six years ago. Eight. Seven. Oh shit! I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. She called me pretty. Rachel Amber just called me pretty. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! But I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Okay, you got a fucking photographic memory there, lady. Bongo's a good name for a cat. That's a good. That's a good cat name. You don't think I can rock? You think I'm not a girl boss? You don't think I can rock? On the contrary. You absolutely rock. But the problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. Maybe she could be a keyboardist. What if she plays the keytar? That's so, cool. If my math is correct, you cheated. Not a single truth escaped your lips. I'm a professional gaslighter. What can I say? You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. You're like 16. Chill the fuck out. Lifetime. Well, I mean, I guess you're gonna be in a shallow grave soon, so it's your lifetime. Yeah, I opened up by lying. That's... Just what women do. <laughs> I knew that would get your attention. Yeah. Ah, he, who. Ah, he, who. Audio jungle. When are we gonna listen to fucking Pisshead again? I, I need Skip back in my life. This game should have been about Skip instead of Rachel Amber. Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day... I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! W where is here? What? Where is here? See? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Okay, jump. Let's go for it. Yeah, the business we call this foreshadowing. One day Rachel is just going to leave. Uh, the, 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 Chloe's gonna fucking freak the shit out. Look at that guy's run. He runs like an old man. Man, it's a good thing we happen to jump off right next to civilization and not in the middle of the woods to get eaten by bears and Bigfoots and stuff. Oh, this guy's cool. This guy's a classic. He's got a sextant. I have a new game for us to play. Fuck yeah, more games with Rachel Amber. I like games. Deal with it. This is what I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. Games, acting, lying, gaslighting. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. I love how I can say all of this, like, blatantly insulting shit to Rachel and just, like, water off a duck's back. She doesn't give two fucks. Because Rachel and Chol are supposed to be best friends. You good, bro? That blows. Well, shit. She's got a temper. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah. Let's see what you got. Well, if you got a nickel and you flatten it with a hammer, that's kind of like a quarter. Oh, we can graffiti the statue. Sexton. Sexton. He's got a sextant. Stop sextanting the interns. What? Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out kids. Fuck you, Dwight. Okay, chill. Was this how historic axe murderers searched for their next victim? What is it with liberals and hating statues of people? Fucking libtards. Initials. Aw and bleh. Yuck. Cliche much, A-W and B-W? A and W like the root beer. Mm. TK and MJ. Hi, Mom. 96 TL. Jeff was here. Oh my god, Jeff the Killer was here. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Don't wanna do it. 
Hey, your woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. <laughs> Fuck you, squirrels. Oh, the birds came to replace the squirrels. Well, guess what, birds? Bye, you fools. That's, that's a reference to Lord of the Rings. Oh. Cut off one head. Another will take its place. Time to be alone with my thoughts. In the park with Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away. And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. What? Wine. I steal. I've already stolen two hundred dollars. What the fuck ever? Is that a bird in the bush? That's worth two in the hand. Wait, no, it's the other way around. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Okay, so when this guy like claims this land and builds his home in a in a big prospering town here, that's evil white people shit. But when a bird builds a tree in a nest. That's freeing. Fuck you, Chloe. What's up, fuckers? Okay, so I can't pry it open with a nail file, but I could- What the fuck? Why is Victoria texting me? Go away. Chol Price. Fuck you. That's the wrong you are. God damn it! Chloe, stop! No, only I'm allowed to grammar collect- correct- collect? Fuck. Collect. I, Col you're collecting grammar? Yes, I'm- <laughs> I'm collecting the grammar tax. <laughs> we're- we're doing all this so that we can people watch. That's the- that's the whole point Rachel of this exercise. Like Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? I really should have showered this morning. Oh, you're gross. You're stinky. All right. You Even I showered this morning. Grill. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Le grill? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh, they're such girl bosses. They're having such a fun time. We're projecting our own gas lights into these people's brains. What the fuck? I thought he was like tea posing, but I think he might just be having a stroke. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? Uh, stay away bees? Not the bees. I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. Bees! Bees! <laughs> Grill dad. Fuck it. <gasps> That's him! That's Detective Lowry! It, it's him from the Mystery of the Druids! It's a child sacrifice! Oh my god, it's perfect. Vibrating beds, sure, let's hear Chloe's quip about that. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Where is Rachel Amber? Rachel? Where is Rachel Amber? She's not talking hey. to me right now. They have a bottle of wine. We steal. Let's steal it. Okay, I was okay. joking. All right, I'm going in. Try to keep up. Rachel Amber, you're being kind of crazy right now. Also, what the fuck was that walk cycle? Help, Rachel? This sounds like a girl boss moment to me. Rachel, so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Uh... St st sterilize the wound. I've, I've oh, fuck, they won. Well, I lost that already. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? Nope. Rachel! Run. What the hell? <laughs> nice. So none of that mattered. <laughs> you lost our car keys and you lost our wine. This is the worst fucking picnic ever. <laughs> Y'all are classy. Goddamn. Probably drive. I am excessively sober right now. Right. So what actually happened in this okay. chat? Bro, we met Rachel Amber. Are you kidding? Rachel Amber. Rachel motherfucking Amber. 
We went to a concert. Mm -hmm. We crashed a dude's car so that we could steal a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. We got into a fight. We talked to Frank Beans. Mm -hmm. Other stuff happened after that. We hate our stepdad. We played Dungeons and Dragons. Barb was there. Barb was there. Barb was you remember. There. Yeah, but Barb also died. Barb did die. That, that sucked. Check it out, dude. If you drink enough, it's like the world starts spinning. Oh my god, it's Junkyard! Rachel, this is where you get buried! This is your shallow grave! Barb was literally the most interesting thing that happened in this chapter. Almost like we were playing a fucking game or something! Rachel sure is acting... strange. Uh... Do we call her out on acting... Like, like fuck it, there's no consequences. Rachel is gonna fucking fall in love with me no matter what I do. Yo, bitch, what the fuck is up? I don't understand. Look at Chloe. There's not a thought behind those fucking eyes. She doesn't understand anything. Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Yeah, that's about accurate. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? <laughs> fuck! Uh... Were you gonna finish that? Okay. Hey, Chloe, why don't you try hitting a car bumper? See what happens. This isn't gonna be dangerous. Go for it. Here. If you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I hope she bashes my fucking head in. Yo, batter up. Boink! <laughs> I'm gonna bonk ya. I'm gonna bonk ya. <laughs> Ooh. Are you kidding me? Cringe. I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. I just told you to fuck off, but you can't leave. We have to be gay. Gotta because be. it make I feel like it makes the most sense for Chol. Especially when she starts, like, grooming Max into being the next Rachel Amber. Because. Something more because I'm horny. That's the real answer. Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? I've say known you for a whole day, Rachel. I'm in love with you. you. Get the baseball bat. Alright, time to beat Rachel over the head with it. Fuck this. Fuck this place. Fuck yeah, let's beat some shit up. Bottles! Fuck you, bottle! <laughs> Smash! Boink. Yo, your head's a freaking bat magnet. Bonk. I'm batting a thousand. Oink. Oh my god, I'm being smashed now. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Not the cameras. Fuck cameras, I hate cameras. Fuck you, sign. Doink. Bonk. Ugh. I'm a force in nature. If you were from where I was from, you'd be fucking dead. Paint splatter. Ooh. Can we graffiti that? Fuck yeah. Let's graffiti it. Damn, bro. She, Damn, bro. I think she might have a few issues. She's like, she's absorbed Rachel Amber's anger issues. Is Rachel Amber watching me have a fucking tantrum like a five-year-old? That's the only thing that can make Chloe act like that. Oh, apparently it's my dad's car. That's a coincidence. Don't worry, Chloe. Just... Yeah! Smash! 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 Chloe, smash! Chloe, smash! Ook! 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 Monkey, smash! Monkey, smash! She's going ape! It's about time fucking one of us did, because we never got to go ape with Warren. 
All that happened in this chapter is that Chloe misses her dad and Rachel is awesome. Yes. And Barb. And Barb happened. I'm crying, sweetheart. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? I don't know, but when we find it, we should look on it. Rachel, Amber's the bright side. I sure hope she doesn't end up in a shallow grave. Truth or lie? Well, there's only one choice we have. We got a gaslight. Chloe looks as dead inside as I am. Dad used to hate it when I rode on ship. Wait, why is that the lie? I'm sleeping right now, so shouldn't shouldn't wake up. It, whatever. Wake me up inside. Wake these nuts. Wake me up inside. These nuts. That Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> chill, dog. Save me from my nuts. Oh. oh, she's on fire. These things happen. He's from California. It should be expected, honestly. I appear to have burst into flames. Oh my god, that this is why we gaslit her. So she can get fucking lit on fire. Well, that just happened. You came. <laughs> Stop. <I'm glad>. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm glad I came too. It's okay, Rachel you Amber. Don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You yeah, Rachel Amber just stuck around, I guess. Under this tree with that woman, the ones who were making out. That was my dad. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. Oof. The worst part is. I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about <laughs> something for a while. Your dad's been gaslighting you, Rachel Amber. I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Oh, she so she was just stringing me along this whole time. I just R Rachel Amber, that's kind of shitty of you. Oh, so it's okay when you gaslight people, but not when they gaslight you. Listen, yes. <laughs> also, I just ran over my toe with my chair. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. My daddy made out with another woman. Hey, bitch, my dad's dead. At least you still fucking got one. I'm sorry, though. That's really I'm terrible. So sorry, Chloe. I love my dad. So did I. I love him. And... I never want to see his fucking face again. At least you get the fear dance fucking face. Look how much I've girl boss this right this episode. And called him out. Hey Barb girl yeah, boss too. Sweet, actually. Look how she died. See? Yeah. She girl boss too hard. Thing. Yeah, she girl boss too hard. But then again, so did so did Chloe. No. So did Rachel Amber. Plus you came along with me, no questions asked. Yeah, kind of well, like a fucking I doormat. Barb, really the us. eldritch god of gaslighting. Are you serious? There's nothing. Bro, we me. <gasps> Barb enough. cut off so the I fire repeller so that our friend could gaslight him. Pack your bags. I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place. Oh forever. my god. Okay. Not even paying attention to the story, you're like Barb. <laughs> Barb, Barb was the best fucking part. Uh, hey, 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 Rachel Amber, you uh, you're not about to do something terribly irresponsible, are you? Oh, she's gaslighting right now. Come on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Now, natural wildfires are beneficial. Uh, Rachel Amber, what you've just engaged in is something known as arson. Smokey the Bear will remember that. <laughs> uh, 
That's not how fire works. You clearly don't live in California. That's how it works over here. Rachel Lambert's just taken her Californianness and she started spreading it all around her. What was that shockwave on her first scream? Dude, it's the Superman death scream from, from Zack Snyder's Justice League. Because that makes so much sense. Oh my god, I think there's been some gaslighting going on out there. That was episode one of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now I'd like to pose a question to everyone. While we're just sitting here in the credits before we look at the stats. Was that worse than Life is Strange? I pose this question to you. Is this worse than Life is Strange so far? So far, probably. I, I have to agree on certain levels. Would you believe? It's going to get worse. Okay, let's see. Stole the money. Again, too close to an even 50-50 split. I'm doing- I'm actively trying to be amoral. Uh, I did like Skip's demo. Skip makes good music. Good job. <laughs> Sabotage Victoria's homework. That I did. I told Rachel falling in love is stupid, and then I fucking fell in love with her immediately. Oh my god, what, what is to happen in the next episode? That is some FMV shit. No from me. Oh my god. I want my fucking money. No one steals. Could my actions have had consequences? Yeah, there's three episodes, and then there's the, the bonus episode. This shit's $10. Ten fucking dollars for one little bonus episode where, like... Babby Max and Babby Chold are fucking around or something. No, no, that's highway robbery. I did not pay for this fucking bonus episode. I, I, this game should feel lucky that I paid money for it. Yeah, they should pay me to play that shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Square Enix. Like, maybe, maybe if that shit goes on, like, super sale, it's like 80% off, I gotta pay, like, two bucks for it. Sure, that's a fun stream, maybe. We're going to be following the laws of the three Gs once again. Of course. We did it last episode. Um, and, and things happened last episode. For example. Anyway, let's move on. Rachel became the storm that is approaching. Oh yeah, speaking of storms approaching, uh, it's raining a lot here. I think... <laughs> I think God has sent rain to me. To try and put out the fire of Rachel Amber. Respect okay. Reality check time. Um. What yesterday did actually happen. Whoa! Rachel Amber was there. Rachel, and that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? After knowing each other for like Are a fucking day. Um, what? No, I was Mr. fucking Price. staring at Rachel Amber. Are you so dumb? You even answer rhetorical questions. Insubordinate language. Hell yeah. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. That was cool. Confirmation of drug use. What? What? I didn't see any witnesses. This is not a trial, Miss Price. This is a sentencing. You're going to the Shall penis I explosion continue? chamber. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, Victoria Chase. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. Did you fucking see the part where I was the only motherfucker the standing up for his stupid ass? Shut up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. That's the- that's what happened, you stupid motherfucker. You couldn't even- Like, Chloe is clearly a terrible student, and yet they're making her expulsion feel- I- like, her inevitable expulsion. That's clearly what's coming up here. They're making it feel unearned, and I feel, like, ripped off right now. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice but to- I made her do it. <gasps> what? Rachel Amber? Yesterday, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> Even <laughs> Chloe just saying, wow, this is a bunch of bullshit. Just fucking expel me already. <laughs> yeah, isn't she such a great fucking actress, by the way? Yeah, fucking. For what? 
you didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me even now is truly inspiring. Watch Chloe like not even Chloe, fucking is this true? stick with this. It's true. I I'm Chloe just trying to true. take the responsibility for my own actions and the game will not let me. Please let me take account of it. Wait, hang on. Do I no, I gaslight. I gaslight, you're right. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Oh, wait, now I'm trying to gaslight, but that's basically the truth. It in no way absolves your daughter. She sucks. And she is a bitch. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. So, yes, this does reduce its severity. Our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. But... No. no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. Okay, that she actually cares about. No. P please reconsider. But the performance is tonight. And the prom is tomorrow. Yeah, like, again, both of these say the same thing. Are you insane? Are you gaslighting us right now? And our taxes are due next week. Oh boy. Oh, come on. Please let me grow, boss. Please let me... Yes! Oh. If This gives me the option to grow, boss. Here we fucking go, gamers. It's a revenge against Principal Wells. Alright, gamers. Barb didn't die for nothing. You don't tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf. Oh, a I'm a one-man wolf pack. In your grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Never. I am a girl boss. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Why? Yes, I did it. To tell the truth, for once. I did it. I girl bossed. I beat the principal Wells boss fight. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your class. I did it. I'm the best. Now I get expelled. Yeah, like I I don't give a two shits about, you know, helping Rachel get into a fucking play. I care about girl bossing my way into fucking defeating Principal Wells in verbal combat. He was, like, Principal Wells was already blaming Chloe for all this, and it's just like, oh, hey. Um, it turns out Chloe was behind it all along, so now you're expelled. Uh, yeah, garbage. Homework. I love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Well, yeah. What the fuck, bro? I mean, you wrote stuff down, aren't you? Like, you're supposed to be smart. You know what actually happens to people who are, like, flunking out? They don't bother trying. Like, yeah, what I would do is... <laughs> I just straight up didn't do homework in high school. I didn't do it. I respected my free time more than I respected the idea of homework. And I, ent I ended up failing a lot. It's Bongo. Shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. No, the moral of the story is don't have outdoor cats. Well, I'm taking the cat picture because I love cats. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? Is that... that's not geometry. Is it? Is that geometry? I don't fucking remember, man. Throw the garbage. That's a very old donut. I'm glad Skip is being very patient with me. Okay, so that's not geometry. Good. I know enough about geometry to know that's the shapes one. Uh. <gasps> hey, Chloe, this is where you die. Yeah, where's the smash prompts? Chloe, smash. Good. That's... <laughs> One way or another, you're dying in this bathroom. You're gonna fall and break your fucking neck. Later, Skip. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna see you later, though. You're gonna fucking be gone in the next game. Why wasn't Skip at my funeral? Well, Wells blows. That meeting hella sucked. You're hella weird. You are! Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Yeah, yesterday, where you had a severe breakdown and, like, slept in your dad's destroyed car that still had his blood in it. And you set the world on fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. Drug free. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Uh, oh, Chloe, your wit is boundless. Max would have loved this shit. <gasps> oh my god. A generous grant from the Prescott Foundation. Black will be offering several new courses next fall. Designs and nurture. Photography? Oh my god! Darwin okay. is my homeboy. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Don't make me use my teacher voice. Science doesn't care what you believe. <laughs> oh my god. Facts and logic don't care about your feelings, libtard. Pluto's not a fucking planet. Fire safety flyer. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. I can't believe there are consequences to starting a forest fire. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit. Holy shit. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. So am I, honestly. Do you want a hug? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so desperate. Oh. Oh. Oh, this guy's the worst Warren! Listen, on a personal level, that brought back some cringe for me. I, I hate admitting that, but but it did. Uh, gatekeep, no fucking thanks. Uh, yeah, Warren at least had, like, something with Max, and they were kind of friends. Like, I can't believe I'm saying nice things about Life is Strange, but... Warren and Max kind of played off each other decently Thanks. in that they were both yeah. huge dorks. Like, who is this guy? Might help you take your mind off things. What is his personality? Do I play the game because you enjoyed it or because it's cringe and makes you Bro, it's cringe! Her boyfriend. Are you fucking kidding me? See you around, Elliot. This game sucks! Yeah. Later. Oh. Wait, what is this? Jim Dirk. What? Hang on. What, what? What are these license plates? Cat. N okay, that's easy. What about what about Grant? Nicola T makes sense. A ham. What? As in as in bra. As in Lincoln. Principal Wells, is your license plate Abraham Lincoln because you're a black guy and he freed the slaves? Or is it like a Bible thing? Or maybe it's just because he's a big ham. He's a he's a, just a big pig boy. T. Sawyer, okay, I know that one. Holden C, obviously. We got enough of that in the fucking last game. L.D. Byron? That's the guy from Billy and Mandy. He lived in Billy's mouth. My other vehicle is drama. My other he was Billy Stand. Drama. Yeah, we're sex we're sex offender. <gasps> Pisshead. Well, so we got bone kick. Deadbeat babies, ghouls and girls. Sneaky Dong! Dude, that's a great band name. Ear cheese. That's what Shrek makes a candle out of. Lung butter. He lines Mister. Oh, Brandy, don't look. And Satan's baby mama. Damn, bro. <gasps> Beer bottles! Oh my god, I, are there five of them here? That's a reference to the game Life is Strange. Like, I, I don't particularly dislike either of these characters. David, he's trying his best. So is Joyce. Like, I, I, I pity them for having to deal with the burden that is Chul. However, Chul would also absolutely say, I do not fucking I care. care. Do 
not use that language with your mother. <laughs> what? You're gonna slap me in the face? Chloe, your mother and I have been fucking. You might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers You're mean. Family and future of Why can't David family? just shoot her? Don't worry, Nathan takes care of that later. Genuine point. You're unemployed. Yeah. I want to be Rachel's Most bottom. And I want Max to be my long. bottom. I guess that makes me the switch. Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. Yeah, that's Chloe. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. There's only one thing Chloe would say. It's like, I'm, I'm... It's so fucking hilarious that in my efforts to girl boss gatekeep and gaslight, I'm staying perfectly fucking in character for Chloe. Be nice for once. Chloe wouldn't even think about it. She'd just say, no, fuck you, dad. You're not my real dad. I, I, I slept in his destroyed car last night. Sure, my... Ooh, it's a gaslight. Yeah. Sure. Reset button press. Okay, yeah. You've convinced me, but because Chloe does not gaslight enough. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. What? But mom! Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Come on, Chol. Up and at him. But mom, my black tar heroin! Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Would a girl boss comply? No. I refuse. I'm gatekeeping you from my drugs. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, oh. and I don't take orders from fascists. Uh. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Yeah, trust is earned, you stupid bitch. This is not the way to get it back. Yeah, you have to do what I say. I don't have to do what you say. That's it. She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I agree with David, Joyce. You're being too soft on her. But I don't want a stable home. I want to run away, be gay, and do crime. I want to fucking steal money from the handicap fund. And refuse to give it back to the guy I owe money to. And then shoot him and his dog. Aw, oh, Chloe, you're not gonna shoot a puppy, are ya? Yeah, in the face, why? I can't go home, they'll make me not do PCP. I need to do fentanyl. The problem with a prequel to events we already know is you can't rewrite it. Fucking tell that to Nathan. And his completely different personality. Oh, jeez, I love throwing car batteries into the ocean. But yeah, now we once again have to fucking sift through this junkyard for random garbage we need. Bat, Chloe smash. Mm -hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. Damn. Mannequin head. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Yeah, am amazing. The, the feelings you'll have for someone you literally just met. Huh, Chloe? Fascinating. Anyway. School bus. My objective. God, it's all so clear to me now. The hand, look at the hand, look at the hand, look at the hand. 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 It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Don't worry, Chloe, you won't live long enough to see that. Smut mag, fuck yeah. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Chloe, have you not figured out that you're like bisexual yet? Really? Come on, live a little. 
Radio. Wait, no, it's gonna have copyrighted music on it. I'm not fucking around with that. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. Oh yeah, can you like see that from here? Yep, yep, okay. That's a good detail. We started that bitch pretty far away. God damn. Oh no, hot women, how gross. I as a bisexual woman hate other hot women. Yeah, Pisshead! Okay, well, you know what? We get to listen to Pisshead, so this is good. Posters. Now this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Oh, God. Be whoever you are as we eat, drink, and merrily say fuck you to Reagan and his oppressive capitalist regime. Communism. Atheism. Free love. Oh, Christ. Oh, man. Pe even people in the 80s of this universe were cringe. Fucking- I can't get away from the goddamn communists. I can't escape them. Great power of hand. 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 The hand can slap someone. Hand. You did not just stick a fucking car battery in your pants pocket. Excuse you. Ooh, syringes. Chloe, you love drugs. The hand. 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 <laughs> I never would have guessed. Oh, the robot has a light bulb in his head. The way, Robobulb. Cool. It's okay. Like, the, the robot's brain will be powering my car now. His his brain will live on in in my car. It's kind of like in, in Solo, a Star Wars story, where, where the femme pewter, its brain gets scooped out and put inside the Millennium Falcon. Remember that? <laughs> that was the thing that happened. Does anyone even remember that Solo a Star Wars story came out? Mystical or frightening? Ooh. Which which one do you do hand in real life? Hang on. Hang the fuck on. Hand. Hand. I I was worried I was gonna run out of room to be perfectly fucking honest. A homeless man in your stream. Not since, like, 2019. Yeah, let's be scary. I want to I wanna scare Rachel Amber when she comes into my car. This you are intruder, about to dip. About. Chloe, you're a NFC. dip. <gasps> it's where she gets her iconic Chloe hat! From Life is Strange! Let me find the- Oh my god, this fucking is Solo. We have to know where Chloe got her hat of all things. We gotta know where Chloe got the Millennium Falcon. We gotta know where she got her iconic hat. Oh my fucking god. It's Solo! What's your last name? I couldn't afford it. Chloe Price! Oh, marshmallow. Fuck yeah. All right, let's let's get some sticks. Let's get some schmellows. <laughs> Lol. Lamau. Quoth the raven. Uh, so what's up, dad? Wait, is Max the butter? I thought Chloe was the butterfly. Well, now I just don't know anything. I don't know who represents what, because none of it's... <laughs> no... <laughs> well, none of it means anything for a start. Rachel's the butterfly that's implied her death triggers Max's powers. Oh. Just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What? What does fire blind with? Beauty. He's gonna wipe his hand and it's gonna be gone. Ooh. Turn your face to me and have it be like a two-face. Fire is jealous, Chloe. What? It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Come on, show me your two face. What? Getting burned, idiot. Yeah. Of getting burned. <laughs> Ravens are a true guidance, and Rachel is the fire. That... Man, none of this symbolism makes any fucking sense to me. 
Chloe, you're gonna get burned by that cigarette fire. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. You'd fucking know, firebug. Damn. You've been busy. You Way busier than I should have been. Just some junk I found lying around. I feel like this is already like the second episode of the last game where um nothing is fucking happening. That is dark. No, it's not. Oh wait, it's it's die. Chloe. Oh my fucking god. It's you are about to die. But it looks like she wrote dip. <laughs> it looks like she wrote dip. Uh Escape. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. Yeah, it, that's dip. Fuck you, Chloe. What really went down with us last night? Shit got pretty wild. Yeah, you started a fire. People are gonna die. <laughs> yeah, us. Uh, <laughs> bitch, that's all you. Cops find anything about this. I'm not saying a goddamn word. But now we shall both surely burn, said the frog. Lol, said the scorpion. Lamau. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, it all started when my dad died. Do you like this yet? Are we having fun right now? It all started when I girl bossed a little too hard. What do I do? You're probably wondering how I got here right now. It all started on the day of my birth. Both of my parents failed to show up. Oh my god, our heads are touching. Our heads are touching. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Uh, hey, about that fire you started. How, how many woodland creatures do you think have burned? Pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes. It's, it's Oregon, not California. Calm down, Chloe. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. What? Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore you're just rachel amber you never had a personality i think you have a personality <laughs> how is telling someone good luck bad luck that's one of the dumber superstitions break your leg that's dumb i honestly agree with chloe here hey, actors are dumb oh my god guys criminal. guys Rachel Amber is asking us out on a date right now. She wants to fuck. She wants us to engage in gay sex. Let's get scissoring, gamers. <laughs> They're both high school. Right, I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's too late. We gotta go all in now. There's gonna be so many fluids going about, boys. Get the hand out. Oh, yeah, let's see what the hand says. Check out mystery bag. <laughs> uh, listen, I look at my mystery bag every day. Don't, don't, don't go crazy here, Chloe. Oh, my God. Chol was here. That's when Chol was here. Do you remember? <laughs> I'm so glad we've had multiple Chloe outfit change sequences. <gasps> Break beans! At the junkyard now. Nice. Oh, it's D&D &D guy. Heard you got expelled. Rolled a one against Wells. Steph says you're a nerd. I did not roll a one against Wells, okay? I beat the principal Wells boss fight. Don't even fuck with me, dork. Damn, Frank gets around. Weird. Frank yeah, got with Frank. Rachel. <laughs> he got with the fucking lady that Rachel's dad was fucking. God diggity damn, Frank. Yeah. Honestly, for an RV, this looks all right. Especially for a drug dealer's RV. He let it go in the later years. How dare you offer candy to children without parental permission? I have reported your license plate to the Arcadia Bay Police Department. 
Jesus Christ. <gasps> the beans! He was eating those beans! He spilled the- They knew. They fucking knew that him spilling those beans was the highlight of the game. Dream about clouds meaning. What hate will dog eat steak? Pisshead music! Mila Kunis single! Frank, get in there! Ah, oh, our boy Frank. Gotta respect it. Cloud formation screensaver. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Make it Fox single. How large was the biggest cloud in history? Why won't puppy eat steak? Oh. That's an expensive dog. Went back to the mill. Shouldn't have him. Fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. <coughs> oh. Rachel Amber has a body count now, and I don't just mean that in the slut way. You killed fucking dogs, Rachel. Do you feel like a girl boss now? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Frank's future girlfriend went and fucking just torched a bunch of dogs. Because she wanted to feel like a girl boss. Oh. Hey there. Oh. <laughs> Chloe, you're gonna shoot that dog in the face later. You little killer. Aww. What a little guy. Still can't believe you got expelled. If you need someone to talk to, let me know. Or want to confess your darkest secrets. <laughs> yeah, Chloe is just being like, listen, dude. D chill. C cool, thanks. That is worse than, please stop talking to me. That is, that is like, I'm fed up with your ass, but there is no way I'm actually going to bother continuing with this anymore. Why does Frank have a knife laying around? Swinging, flippy instrument of death. I can't believe Frank got a strange big earner. Uh, yeah, Warren is a giga chad compared yeah. to Elliot. This Elliot guy, like, all he is is just a beta orbiter. It's French. Yeah, French for what? I don't know French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> See, this is why me and Frank are cool. Oh boy! Here we go, gamers! We get to have the Frank Beans boss fight! Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. His icon is the beans! Beans are his most defining trait. Not the fact that he's like a consistently written character, the only one in this shit series. Um, I was not listening to him. Uh, fuck. Apparently that, I, w I got it. A big plate of beans. Beans, beans. With the beans? <laughs> With extra beans. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble. Chili does have beans. Like who? I do enjoy a good chili. That's again, me and Frank were cool. Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. You know, we both own a small business. We love our pets. We like beans. I heard a bunch of dogs died! Boy, I sure would hate to date someone who caused the fire and burned all those dogs to death. Please. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Come on, Chloe, write out the N-word. Tempest tossed or abandon all hope? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here, man. Interfaith group flyer. Fuck yeah. Ugh. 
Anyone interested in starting an interfaith discussion group? Open to anyone and everyone. Looks like someone got rejected from Vortex Club. We are Blackwell's greatest resource. Let's celebrate and learn from each other. Why just... Ugh. I don't understand. Like, there's this shit. Chloe just... Ugh. People of different faiths talking to each other and being cordial. And then Max in the last game with, oh, Jesus is a necessary evil for keeping Kate from killing herself. This game doesn't like religion. Anyway, let's, let's sit and be alone with our thoughts. You don't have any thoughts. Th there you go. J hey, listen. My head is not empty. I have lots of thoughts. Lots of thoughts. What's up, bitch? Hey, I, I thought you were gonna like break Whoa. your cooch there. Hey, Barb. The elf barbarian. Fuck yeah, Barb. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. <gasps> you want to steal? Make a move. My oh, Rachel from me. I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me. I appreciate this lesbian chick just kind of being like, hey, by the way, I'm a lesbian. Just like, yeah, I want to fuck. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm. Uh, I, I yeah, we're gatekeeping her from having gay sex. It's confusing yeah, I, I can imagine it's confusing being gay isn't it dude why do you care about my questionable decisions it offends me when intelligence is wasted oh uh, that's such a reddit thing to say uh, if i mock you will you stop wearing that awful hat <laughs> i've learned that if i'm passionate about something it's probably the right thing to care about forest fires for example you should have taken my petition seriously. Yeah, now a bunch of dogs are dead. Like anyone else did. Did you really expect people to care? I, I thought I'd mock him a lot more viciously. Like, Chloe, I thought that's something you were good at. Comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lie. Yeah, you're a Redditor. You see what happened? Uh, you need social skills, Redditor. Evan, you're pretty stuck up. Did you know that? It's fine. The first sign of greatness is people disliking you. So I guess I'm pretty fucking great anyway, then. You're not supposed and to Chloe, you must be the greatest one of them all. This guy's got a different voice actor. Uh, what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Uh. <laughs> Elliot. Oh, absolutely. I'm here for that fucking loser. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, I want to hear more of his weird isms. What do you have to say about Rachel Amber? Cause she's great. What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's some drug shit. You're on That's, drugs. Uh... Usually, I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want to keep hidden? Tell me my deepest, darkest secrets, Squirrel Man. And, uh, what, what do I want <laughs> to keep hidden? Girl boss fears the and esoteric autist. <laughs> and afraid. Lonely and afraid? How fucking dare you? <laughs> Fuck you, esoteric autist. How dare you? Fuck you, man. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. <laughs> I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. It is never fake, Chloe. I wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. <laughs> As an artist, I do hate women. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to some places here. Ignis Corvusk. 
Chaos Theory, The Farsalia. Okay. Wait a minute. Chaos Theory. The Tornado. It was you. It was all you. Wait, what does the hand say? Oh my god, the hand says it was Samuel all along! I'm visiting a friend. I'm going Class. to gaslight you. Uh, visiting a friend. Oh yeah, so doing all that shit for the keys didn't fucking matter because Skip just interrupts me anyway. I can't just let you go in. The Skip boss fight? No. I thought you were on my side, Skip. You're a stooge of the man, Skip. I gotta put you down. It's what Pisshead would want. Oh man, Skip is tough! Women's business. Absolutely. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Uh, your job is creepy. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. It's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you? Do you feel Wells pressuring you to write more students up? Do you feel I'm not oppressed even a student, but sure. or Don't overworked? You. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I thought we were friends too, Skip. I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, oh, it's always the man. It's always the man coming it? between us. Look! 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 I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Uh, look the other way, please. Just yes, okay. Squirrel peace offering. Squirrel gives no fucks. Well, obviously the squirrel gives no fucks. <laughs> That's not even a fucking contest. I'd give a fuck, but I forgot where I buried it. Oh, Chloe. You're, you're, you're such a crazy, wild girl. You're so crazy, I dare say you're nuts. Thou shalt not pass. Oh, he drew a little Dumbledore. That's, that's cute. Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? He drew a little Dumbledore. <laughs> I, know, I knew that would piss people off. I see her in the brick and mortar, in the fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The ferryman can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. It's kind of metal. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? I wonder, Chol. That moment when the sun is almost there, the sea so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless cold infinity conforms to one stark plane, and for a moment only, all is possible. I'll say yes. My heart says yes. Her eyes say yes. Man, I love Doki Doki Literature Club. Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. They see her but don't see her. How is that so? When all the world is negative and dark. And she cries out a screaming rocket trailing fire. <laughs> Wait. Are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? You are about to die. How childish she is, how lovely and how cruel, her black knife spilling words and dripping ink. I'm going to, like, look at his computer, turn around, and he'll be standing there with a fucking butcher knife. Okay, he's googling me. Three times. No. Yeah, this dude is creepy. I'm very glad that I've been, like, rejecting him this whole time. Like, he's Google-stalking me. He's writing weird poetry about me. I don't feel cool with any of this. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. There are so many red flags going on here. Nope. Damn it. Wrong numbers. 1227? Oh. 
There we go. Brother's birthday. Yes. This is kind of fun. Yeah, stealing stuff. <laughs> Breaking into places and stealing stuff. This is very consistent for Chloe's character. Jackpot. Money! I'm kind of good at this. Yeah, it's stealing money. Oh, <gasps> Dr. Timebot, the Jurassic Edition. Fuck yeah. Now we're talking. There's Barb! Guys, she's back! Barb lives. Damn. Your dad's homeless? No wonder you're selling drug money. They look so happy. Man, I wish I had a dad. It's spring season. We just started two a day. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. True. You owe me. <gasps> He's the bull man. I don't have it right now. You know what Barb would do, Chol? You know what Barb would do? Barb would throw herself in there and sacrifice herself. Yeah, Barb would die. Just like you, Chol. Well. I'm trying to think of, like, what's even in character for Chloe here. Like, neither of these are particularly girl boss. I guess we could gatekeep the money. Yeah, gatekeep the money. He knew what he was getting himself into. Now do you realize that bullying is bad? Because now you've been bullied. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Well, if we're keeping the money, then that's just because we're giving it to Frank. So do we gatekeep the money from this guy or from Frank? I mean, yeah, Chloe would absolutely keep the money. I... I didn't do anything. Yeah, you really didn't. I'm gonna beat a dude while he's down. Yeah, I'm taking his money while he got the shit beat out of him. Good luck with those hospital bills, by the way. That's what you get for bullying known psychopath Nathan Prescott. Karma really came back around for you. Ah. Uh, I'm such a good person. Yeah, don't worry. Karma's gonna get us for all of the terrible actions we take when we get shot in the bathroom by Nathan. Oh, see, we should have had some of these when, uh, when Homeboy was out there. Do you have shoes on? Bro, put some shoes on. There are no feet fetishes allowed in this house. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like I said, it's all gonna come back to bite us when we get shot in the bathroom. Oh yeah, she's got like a thing for Nathan. Please, I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Oh wow. Your voice down. Listen, you don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. They hate you for good reason. What do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad. But Dad. You learn that this isn't about you and your problems. This is about the Prescott name. My name. So go up there and act like a little fairy boy on stage and make me proud. Who does this guy remind me of? As you were, sir. Don't let me stop you. Dennis Prager. <laughs> oh my god, kind of. Remain silent as no-, no like, Chloe would miss no opportunity to tell someone exactly what she thinks of them. But, like, fuck Nathan, I'm not falling for this. He is a psycho. Uh, you should be careful, girl boss. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Yeah, because my dad's Chloe, dead. I wasn't thinking... I'm sorry. For what? You didn't kill my dad. Or, or did, did you? you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. 
actually the two of you are really similar. <laughs> yeah, we're both really good at shooting Chloe. Uh, give him, give him space. Give him a fair few yards, and and some cover. He's just so hurt that he brought a gun to school, and you know helped to kidnap, drug, murder, and cover up the murders of women. Um, give him up his girl bot. Yeah, fuck it. Nathan and I aren't lovable rebels in some terrible eighties movie. We're messed up. You shouldn't. We're, we're not. We're not Jason Dean over here. I mean, Nathan could be. He he seems like the kind who would blow up the school. He's just so misunderstood. Like, hey, you know what Heather's got right? Uh, there there wasn't any fucking saving him. What's up, Michael Keaton? Mr. Keaton. Ah, the birds flee the girl as do her thoughts. Their presence replaced by madness. Tell me, young lady. Do you Tell me how you really feel. Love is a lie. Well, now that I've met Rachel Amber, I'm just not sure anymore. I mean, Rachel Amber is just so... Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... <laughs> I'm gaslighting myself. Dude, definitely. For sure. Budding dramaturge. May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Would you call me? What's up, bitch? Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug? Did Doug dig How David's garden, know. or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug? Well, now I just don't even know. It's even better than Rachel. It's Victoria. I love Victoria. She's so, she's such a dimensional character, and not just. A... <laughs> did Doug Dimidome dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug Dimidome? <laughs> Wait, are you? Are you drugging this? That better just be laxatives. Whatever that was. <laughs> did was Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome, dig David's garden? Or did I David dig Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodomes? Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. Yeah, anything under capitalism is for blah blah blah. What's up? sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework oh god you're pathetic i can't believe you're still on about that uh i'm here for rachel because i have no agency of my own whatsoever rachel amber it was customary among the thespians of ancient greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage it is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. Lay it on Your thicker. Essence, bitch, dose your tea. That is the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Swap the glasses, obviously. Like, come on, that's that's the funniest thing you could do. Come on, fuck Victoria. I guess we missed out on the chance to let her get drugged last time. Now she gets to do it to herself. <laughs> Girl boss on that capitalist to poison her. That's what you get for supporting capitalism, Victoria. I'm so grateful to have such a kind and caring friend as you, Victoria. Aw, samesies. Uh, oh, you're still as cringe as ever, Victoria. Samesies. Samesies, too. That's a gaslight. Anyway, I'll see you out there. Break a leg. So that happened. So, uh, that's something I do now. Uh, I just did that. She's right behind me, isn't she? Juliet is waylaid. No. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Egads. I am aghast at this news. <laughs> Drugging people is, on drugs, is funny. Look at her. Her face is so blurry and pretty. Uh, she's clearly been drugged. I mean, drugged herself. She loves drugs. Don't you? There she go. Good night.
Touché face. Uh, I love how Touché. barely anyone cares. It's just like, okay, sure, that happened. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? Slender? Excuse you. I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. Oh, well, if it's for Rachel, then I, I'll do it because I have no agency of my own. You don't, don't. Damn it. Oh, I'm a bird. Yeah, I have no agency of my own. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. <laughs> Come on, you could have gone full Marvel there. Like, there is no way you're going to get me to wear that bird costume. Nope. No way. Aw, oh, dang it. I'm in the bird costume. Okay, are we good? Smoke breaks over. Chop, chop. That was an uncomfortably low camera angle. You didn't have to do that. Alright. Death tragedy. Hmm. Well, I mean, Chloe. Ah. Uh, you, you and death are... quite well acquainted. Nah, it's gonna be more brutal than that. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. Uh, and she wants me to come? Oh, boy. <laughs> Even the actors are falling asleep. No problem. I mean, hey, for being a supposedly great actress, Rachel is a... And save my mind. Rock. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. San Diego. Complete with fake rocks. My ship sails in the morning. I'm sorry, but her just like standing there like a fucking Neanderthal as Rachel is begging her to give a line. Like, that's funny. Look at that dead fucking stare. There's not a thought running through her head. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship. Ferdinand? I thought his name was Go Fuck Yourself. Cried. Hell is full, blood is fuel. Uh, now's the time to die? If only. <laughs> That's about how I'm feeling right about now. You're cringing? Why? Is this awful or something? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. You're damn right about that. No one can equal Rachel Amber. Liberty and justice for all. My liberty. Thy liberty? And justice for all. Nay, this most of all I will not grant. How about my agency? That's not her line, is it? You know? I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I am the top and you are the bottom. Uh... You wanted me to come? Well then you're coming with me. I bet Rachel Amber planned for Juliet to get fucking held up just so that she could do this in public with me. What sayest thou? To my most hopeful wish. Uh, I don't know. What does my hand say? Say yes, be lesbians. I am most pleased. Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Uh, so what's the plot of this again, by the way? What ho? Slave. Yeah, see, she's definitely the top. She's she, she's got slaves and everything. God, this is still going on. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? What are you doing here, Professor Quirrell? Oh my God. This play is super intense. That's what that's the word you use? God, is this fucking over yet? Does anyone actually know what this play is like? This is a real play, right? The Tempest? Oh see, Nathan, now you seem pretty pleased with your performance. Almost like you weren't getting bullied up there or something. I'm not part of this production. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? <laughs> Shallow grave dead. Yeah, thank god the fucking play is over. Holy shit. Like nothing nothing against all the the theater kids in the chat right now, but holy fuck, that was painful. What masochistic streak got you into this series? Oh, I just I just generally hate myself. Holding hands is pretty gay. Wait, hand.
We're holding hands. Well, can you or can't you? Do or do not. There is no try. Uh, I can definitely fix that car. I'm a girl boss and I don't need a man to help me. Yeah. I can. That's hot. The fu- <laughs> In other words, we've got transportation covered. <laughs> that money belongs to Frank Beans. You can't spend it. Yeah, like, that's- that's true. What will our parents think? Like, Chloe doesn't actually care about that. Again, I want to hear Rachel's shitty excuse. I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. Chloe would never say that. that doesn't sound like Chloe. <laughs> Even Rachel agrees with me. Uh, your mom needs you. My mom is burdened by me. Where are we going? You tell me. Not LA. Not LA. Twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma. The the open road, not Los Angeles. I do not want you within like two hours of me. No. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's flammable? Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Kissing me. There it is. Everyone. It's time to put the gay in gamer. Oh, why didn't you just fucking say so, idiot? We put the gay in gamer and the gay in gatekeep. Get in there, you lesbians. This kind of feels like a moment where music should be playing. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Oh, now it's snowing ash. Um, that's not romantic, by the way. Take it from a Californian. That's concerning. <laughs> How about a kiss? For luck. What is this stuff? It's ash, you dumb fuck. Bro. I think it's Ash. This is still going? That wasn't like an end of the episode? Jesus Christ, that's where I would have ended it. And I don't just say that because we're three and a half hours in. Yeah, Rachel just has to keep forcefully dragging Chloe or she's not top enough. You are the bottom, so stay fucking quiet. And she um, brought her new friend. Nice. Our star returns. You're just in and you brought the delinquent with you. Almost ready. Chloe, was it? It was. I go by a new name now. I want to see what Chloe has to say about this. It was, but that was before I was expelled. Now, Good. That girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Ah, oh, your wit is. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. Your wit is boundless, Chol. Why does the dad look like Elon Musk? He looks like a character who would be voiced by Seth MacFarlane to me. Maybe that's just me. Chinese... Go oh, he does kind of look like Gordon Ramsay. It's just like he, he's got the wrong color hair for it. Make that guy blonde, he's Gordon Ramsay. Oh my god, you're right. How How is your daughter? She's She's swell, isn't she? Really nice, kissable lips on your daughter, huh? Thank <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, sir? Blah, 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 blah. The Divine Comedy. Well, I mean, we already quoted that earlier with the abandoned hope all ye who enter here thing. Let's sit and be alone with our thoughts. Because this episode isn't going by slow enough. I don't get modern art, man. I can't imagine hanging something like this up in my house. I want something cool in my house, you know? Like a bunch of... Like, I could paint this. I didn't, but I could. I don't, but I could. Literal or illiterate? Well, obviously, there's only one answer for Shoal. Salvat it. Oh. That's just the fucking... That's some Junji Ito shit. Dirt, dirt, dirt. This is my hole. It was made for me. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Man, you women love cleaning and cooking, huh? What's up, lady? Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, 
I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. You're still an NPC. I, I refuse to believe you're a real person. How about how about that daughter of yours? <laughs> so, uh, Rachel pretty pretty daughter. fuckable daughter you got there, right? Glasses. <laughs> Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. Is having glasses fancy? Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Okay, Chloe. Hello, cheating scumbag. <laughs> One job. Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, oh, let's say Sharon. Not Sarah. One, two, three, Sherry. Comical. <sighs> Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Besides my terrible oh. sense of humor? Like, bes I, I feel like if Chloe's trying to keep it cool for Rachel because she has no agency because Rachel's the top, then she yeah, she's going to put the blame on herself. Oh, but you know what? You got to blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Stop trying to make jokes. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Well, <laughs> we fucking were. What about that fire? Uh, what about it? What about it? Um, you know, you know, fires happen. It's just really good. Fire. Thank you, Rachel. Now, some say that fire is actually just a, a, a different form of energy. Never heard of anything like it. It's like it's supernatural or something. It's strange. It's strange. Life is strange. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Like family, especially. It's not merely a gift. <laughs> like it's candles, it's still written on our hands. Oh boy. Oh god. <laughs> I, like, I can already tell this is a massive fucking misunderstanding. The lady he's talking to is just, like, she, she's just an informant or something. <laughs> Fuck it. It's time to girl boss Rachel Amber's dad. Gratitude? How privileged and white of you. Gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. Uh, that is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. <laughs> well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. Personal responsibility? Oh, I'm sure Chloe has something to say about that responsible like my dad my dad was super responsible he always drove under the speed limit then one day a truck came along and turned him into a super responsible pancake that's graphic we're trying to eat here troll see this is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another as long as those diverse voices are also white <laughs> we don't want the other kind dirtying up our dinner table very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. <laughs> Chloe is an excellent articulator. Sometimes? Excuse me, dear, but if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. Thank you, Dad. That's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. Yeah, Dad's got it right. Incognito attacks? Should I say guy oh, incognito? So I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this Oh, uh, it's not welcome in the stream either. Get the hell out of here, libtard. You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker. Gasp. I, I have fucked your mother on several occasions, but that is no reason to bring this up at the dinner table. My stupid wife. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy, Rachel, don't... Is it time for more Rachel arson? 
he's gatekeeping me from Rachel now. Rachel's the most important thing in my life, and I have no agency. Oh no, wait. That wasn't my mistress. That's your real mom. That was your mother. Yay! Ah. Uh... I guess it makes sense since she looks nothing like her quote-unquote mom. Yeah. If only Barb were here. Imagine being a simp for fucking Nathan of all people. He's gonna drug and kidnap you now. You're gonna be his fucking patient zero. Shallow grave for this girl, that's why we never see her again. Like you show a little bit of weakness and vulnerability to a guy like Nathan, he's gonna take advantage of that and you end up as his patient zero. The stupidest fucking game. Now, why on earth would you say something like that? It's just like, I don't want a brace. I don't, I don't want a kiss. I want a bracelet, a tattoo. It's so much more meaningful. Like, come on. The story is railroading you to that kiss. It's just like, these are the options for people who just explicitly do not want to be lesbians. Decided not to go to the play. Apparently... Despite all of the red flags from Captain Red Flag over here. No. Apparently, not going to the play with him is a minority choice. Oh my god. Most people didn't return Drew's money. I... I didn't do that because I was trying to be a bitch. He wasn't a very nice guy, let's be real. Do you know who he wasn't a nice guy to, though? It was Nathan. Nathan deserves it. I was intentionally being a bitch and trying to stay in character as Chloe who just likes to steal fucking money. Now, <laughs> now speaking of Nathan, and people knowing information from the previous game, avoid Nathan! That seems like the smart play from the guy who kidnaps and drugs and murders women. Apparently, people don't see those as red flags and want this girl to help him out. You know, he's just he's just a lost soul in need of some help. Nathan's redemption arc was too effective. What redemption arc? It's literally just like he gives you a sad phone call that may as well have been fucking 80 yard in for all the fucking difference it makes. Also, I'm very surprised that, like, not many people went to girl boss, fucking Rachel's dad. Yeah, help Nathan. You know what? You can fix him, girl who looks like a 13-year-old. Try Please try not to color Nathan's future choices in women. Uh, it's an ashen wasteland, just like my soul. And the rest of California, I guess. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry I committed genocide. Mercury was in retrograde. <laughs> Their final outing was Chole and Rachel Amber. Let's try and figure out where we're going with the with this wonderful cast of characters. I'm going to guess the girl who looks like 13 years old is going to be Nathan's patient zero. And I'm going to guess that the dude with fuckloads of red flags is going to be like a creepy asshole. You're... The fuck? Is this what we're doing? Rachel, everything I've shielded. Oh no, my dad is a viewfinder. I'll be honest, I think Chloe looks way fucking better with brown hair. Like, her design isn't nearly as obnoxious. That's not just like a, a girl blue hair thing. It's like, she genuinely just looks better. <laughs> Let me be clear, turns into binoculars. I, I'm here for you, because I have no agency. I mean, listen, I got nothing against blue-haired girls. Sayaka's the best Maguka. There was one person everyone adored. Oh my god, she was the old Rachel Amber. Her friends. <laughs> what a chad. Courtship. The courtship ritual. She was so alive. So passionate about... The pair now engages in their mating dance. It's very jittery and kind of weird looking. While the rest of us were pursuing Th those are some moves. Careers, family. 
Spain! She became Pregante. When I knocked her up, I thought it would finally calm her the fuck down. Fucking hate babies, bro. Oh, escape? You could have just... I tried to help her. Instead of escape, you could have just said it was heroin. Don't you gotta, like, tie yourself off? Uh, good job keeping uh, Rachel safe, Dad. <laughs> Really worked out well for you. Oh, thank God, you're back to being a dad and not a viewfinder. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of like a very awkward third wheel to Rachel Amber's entire life. Um, group Smiths. Where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. Chol, you should come. You did awesome. Oh my God, it's Drone Girl. Even she's here. They really want me to come. And, and I'm real good at coming. Also, Drone Girl... She looks like a creepypasta character or something. She looks edited in. She's like Jeff the Killer. That's scary, man. Okay, so now all of the things I could look at before have been recontextualized with this new revelation in mind, right? Uh, no, we already looked at the computer. Travel photo... I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like this. Yep. Newspaper. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? She probably would have gunned down all those dogs herself. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? I mean, yeah. You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. Been there. To go through any of that. Man, you're kind of boring, but I get you. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Been there. Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. I feel like you've seen this exact plot line. It's been my life for the past, like, fucking year. <laughs> it's like... For being such a girl boss game, it's always the male characters I walk away with being like, you know what, this guy's this guy's all right. This is where I ask you. Rachel's dad isn't a bad guy. Frank is cool. Frank is cool, but a pretty bad guy. Let's be honest. Yeah, but like, Frank runs his own business. He rescues dogs. He likes beans, and more importantly, he's consistently written. Cracks down on drugs. Oh man, Frank's not gonna like that. What's up, bitch? Hey, Mrs. Amber. Oh, yeah. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. You're still married to the okay. guy, aren't you? Rose. Uh, both of these are Chloe having accountability, and neither of these are... N n that's not in character. So I shouldn't have talked to this woman. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Really? <laughs> Why? Well, this must be pretty awkward, I don't know. Um, awkward. So, that just happened. Well, I'm homeless. I just got kicked out of school. And, uh, yeah. All that, all that jazz. But I'm doing better than Rachel, because she has a weird mom. Objective. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Comfort Rachel. Hmm. Lamp. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Oh my god, just suck her fucking dick already. Let us think the unthinkable. Let us do the undoable. Let us do the impossible. See the invisible. Row, row, fight the power. Uh, the beginning is always today. I like how Rachel Amber just has like random shit around her door her fucking room that's just like yeah these are the things i am i'm a lion crab i'm a individualist blah 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 yeah i go to school oh, graffiti fuck could yeah rachel could use another subject but which one anatomy like the penis That's the 
Where do babies come from? Show and tell. Oh, like sex. Like sexual intercourse. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Billy Shakes. I think Billy Shakes could come up with, like, my mom was on heroin. Why does this game look like it's from 2001? Um, because it may as well be. Also, I feel like that's an insult to games that came out in 2001. Silent Hill 2 is 2001? Yeah, this, that's definitely an insult to games that came out in 2001. It's... Beautiful. I thought you might like 2001 it. Almost, also gave us Metal Gear the Solid 2. Jesus Christ. Thought. Remember the PS2? How, how are they even moving? I've already been dead. For millions of years. Is that... Is that even actually true? I feel like that's one of those fake facts that people always spread around. Lies. <laughs> stars suck. Who needs stars? I live in the big city. I never get to see stars. Yeah, sucks. If I can even call it that anymore. Yeah, you can. What the fuck? And that other woman... My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. Listen, if fucking Poe from Kung Fu Panda can accept his goose dad as his dad, then you can accept this lady who's raised you your whole life as your mom. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Probably. <laughs> no or I don't know. I don't get to tell Rachel Amber yes. Seeing your junky mother is a bad idea. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. Is it me? Is it me? But what if we can't find her? Am I the secret? Am I the secret ingredient in the secret ingredient soup? Why do people in fiction want to go back to their biological parents, even if they are druggies and don't care about them? I don't know, man. It's weird because blood is thicker than water, but nothing is thicker than secret ingredient soup. Also, the original saying is, like, the complete opposite of that. No, the w the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. That's what it is. Maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. You always die like an idiot. Time. When are you going to let it go? <laughs> I only died once, you idiot. He's driving the invisible boat mobile. <laughs> to the invisible boat mobile. Away! I don't know, I feel like even a school play could have, like, a prop for this. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Uh, <laughs> here's the problem. <laughs> Why, there's no engine in this car! Fine. It's... <laughs> Why, in fact, Spark blood. there's no car at all! Look at me when I get hit by the car. Okay. <laughs> 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 I agree, Victoria. <laughs> Got fucking isekai <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you couldn't have just, like, done a fade out to white? That wouldn't have been more appropriate, you don't think? Oh, I thought she was gonna draw herself on fire. That's not cool. Oh, <gasps> Spin! Perfect. California, huh? No, no, no. Cool to see where Rachel grew up. Fucking Long Beach. Like, Sublime is from there. No, the coolest thing that ever happened there was Rachel Amber. Nathan Prescott as Caliban. This promising young actor's weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuance, severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. Yo, Nathan Prescott looked like a huge pussy up there, and it was awesome. 
Even refusing to speak the words Shakespeare wrote for her, Miss Price surprised and delighted with her refreshing performance. Five stars. Man, this is like those fucking YouTube video essays that managed to figure out a way to make, like, an objectively bad thing just sound utterly amazing. It's a burden expectation. <laughs> oh, what? And they talk trash about Skip? And Pisshead? No, come on, man. Though I was right all along, Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. <laughs> you think you're her sidekick now. Oh, absolutely I'm the sidekick. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. I mean, yeah. She's Rachel Amber. She's the best. Like, honestly, <laughs> I think Victoria has good reason to be bitter for once in her fucking life. Like, she was drugged and passed the fuck out, like, right in front of everyone. Nobody gave a shit. Nobody cared. I mean, I wouldn't have, because she's a bitch. Oh, man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass, that's just the worst. Fuck you, troll. Oh, don't, don't worry. Like, not to say she didn't deserve getting drugged, because, again, she's a bitch. But what I'm saying is, like, they didn't know that. Oh, that was easy. <gasps> the blue hair dye! My god. <laughs> oh my god, it's solo again. It's like we have to know how Chloe got her fucking blue hair dye. Showing too much for my liking. Me too, honestly. The first game did this shit, too, where we had to take a shower as Max. I wasn't a fan of that. Oh! The first streak! Did we get Chloe's iconic Chloe outfit from Life is Strange, the video game? Are those the boots she wore? Oh my god! Oh, now that I'm naked in my room, that's when Psycho's gonna show up, right? That's it! That's the troll outfit! Yay! It's her! Is there anything... Left to grab or look at in here. Anything funny? A car calendar. Ew. Because nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. Yeah, ignore my TF2 inventory. I'm not compensating sports for anything. Cars. Condoms. Ew, icky David penis. They're ribbed for my mom's pleasure. <laughs> Also, retcons Joyce into being much less attached if she's willing to sell off the ring. Yeah, it's weird. Like, this almost seems to paint Joyce as kind of a bitch. I don't know if we're that hard up for money that we need her to sell off her ring for 300 bucks. Like, I've been there, but I was living in my car. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Thank you for trying, David. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Start off with that one, Chol. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. This is the new me, Mom. You wouldn't understand. I, uh, I didn't get you anything. Well, I was I living on the lam for a couple days. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I, uh, I have to go. Look at Chola being, like, apprehensive about being mean to her mom. I'm going to take you at your word. That is completely so, irresponsible. If you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Wow, you're letting you me get away with this David. shit. Pot yesterday. David. The idea is Dude sounded like he was swallowing knives when he said that. No fucking kidding. David's not He's rewarding her for shitty behavior. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place. Yes, Joyce, you are correct. Uh, Stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're gonna regret it. <laughs> Look, she's not gonna live long enough to regret it. Like David is trying so fucking hard. Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Now, if I were playing Life is Strange 1, Chloe, 
I would rip that photo in fucking half. Be nice for once. But it's so out of character for Chloe. It's so not girl boss. I really want to be nice because he's trying so fucking hard. <laughs> uh. Glass him. I mean, like, I feel like it's kind of a gaslight if we accept his offer and then we just turn into Life is Strange 1 Chloe anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the gaslight. Fuck it, I'm gonna be nice literally one time. Like, once, <laughs> once the blue consumes all of my brown hair, it's just gonna, like, like, all of my goodwill towards David will completely disappear. That's how it's gonna go. Man, I remember playing, like, a Thomas the Tank Engine game when I was, like, five years old that had this exact puzzle in it. There's too many beans. They've gunked up the car. It's like that guy who filled his computer with beans. Vroom, vroom. Oh my god, she even knows how to use the Prindle and everything. The Prindle? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Chloe, let's celebrate and turn on the radio. Would you like am or fm? How is the thing not falling apart? Because it was made before um, planned obsolescence became a thing. Is Rachel supposed to be annoying? No. Beans! Nice, nice wheels. Nice wheels, sure. Hey, Rachel Amber, you're like 16 here. Where's the money? Okay, now I owe Frank a lot of money. Now, I could pay it off, but that is not in character for Chloe. <laughs> Remember last time when I owed Frank money? And then I, I had the money because I stole it from the school's handicap fund. And then I shot him and his dog. Because I just didn't want to give it back to him. It's a whole other thing. This guy's got... <laughs> you know, maybe this guy's alright after all. You two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. <laughs> I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Yeah, we're kind of stupid, aren't we? It was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. Hey, Frank's a great guy. Whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. The kind that likes to eat him... beans. What the fuck is your Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? Oh my god, even this guy knows who Rachel Amber is. The famous Rachel Amber. Yeah, we know he's a piece of shit. We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. What the fuck? NSC donated $3. Here's what Ed, but life next. is strange. His choices are eat, eat, Come eat. Come on, man. That is an absurd knife. No. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Dig a, dig a hole for a shallow grave for Rachel to get put in. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. What? Uh, Rachel, you are so incredibly stupid. You could not be more stupid if you tried, Rachel Amber. Good fucking going, dumbass. Yo, Frank's taking one for the team. Uh, Frank, you're probably gonna die. He's got a knife and you don't. I know, but like, he should... I know plot armor is protecting him, but fuck, he should, like, not survive this fight. Oh, look at all these firefighters. I wonder how many of them have died. Rachel... Oh, but she gets stabbed once, and we get a whole sequence for that. She was protecting me, because that's just what a great person Rachel Amber is. She wasn't lashing out like an angry fucking child. Quick tempered, rash. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. Don't worry, you'll lose her in a completely different way. I owe Frank big time. Yeah, you do owe Frank. For, you'll owe Frank for the rest of your life. I'm so glad they kept the sit and be alone with your thoughts. Hand. Wait for Rachel. Okay.
Anonymously cover his medical expenses. Huh. Are they retconning Nathan's dad into being an okay, not terrible person? He just paid off that guy's medical bills. The guy who was bullying the shit out of his son. I mean, like, in fairness, he also bullied. You know, maybe they just have a mutual hatred of Nathan. Mr. North? That's me. You look more like a Mr. West to me. He looks a bit like Mr. West. Yeah, he does kind of look like Adam West. No one messes with Adam, we. Even Batman couldn't convince Chuck. I wanted to say Chloe and Chol at the same time. They're like a, a perfect 50-50 in my brain right now. Sorry I'm laying all this on you. Uh, light in there. That's okay. My brain knows it's Chloe, but my my nice my heart nice. wants it to be Chol. Hey Chloe. What's up? Hey Drew. You're gonna get a badass scar through your eyebrow. <laughs> How is it the knee that I uh that I stood back and watched while you got the shit kicked out of it. It's not quite as cool as like the scar that goes through the eye. It's it's all good. But you know, that's still gonna be a cool scar. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. You would, Pretty lesbian. Cool. Barbarian colors, like Barb. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know, a war paint. Awesome. Nerds. Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seems. <laughs> hey, I know we're here with uh, stable. With Should Drew, who got the shit kicked out of him. But how is Rachel Amber? I like how this guy has completely turned around from being a jock douchebag from like the one scene he had in the first episode. I wish I could get my hands. And now he's just a completely different person. Okay. He got to be a dick to Nathan literally one time, and that was all he got to be a dick for. Everything okay in here? Like, if I got a chance to be a dick yeah. once in my life, it would be to Nathan Prescott, because fuck that guy. I hope he's bring you some cheer. Aw. Pudding! Oh, that looks like... Oh. Right now. Studio Ghibli food always looks so good. Drew, I would like to express my deepest condolences for your injuries. I strive to make Black Will a safe and welcoming place for all students, except for Chloe Price, because she is a bitch. I realize now that in many ways I have failed to do that, especially to Chloe Price, because she is a bitch. Eat the pudding, 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 eat the pudding. Okay. But then we gotta get to work. I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> I already Open took this guy's life. fucking money. Let's just take his pudding now. Competition all cheered you up. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Can we gaslight this guy out of his pudding? <laughs> I want that pudding, buddy. I need the pudding more than he does. I'm taking that pudding. I've kicked this man while he's down once, and I'm gonna do it again. I think Chloe just hates the disabled. Oh shit! I wasn't listening. Haven't you eaten enough, fatty? Uh. If you love something, let it go. If you love something, let it go. It's the noble thing to do. No. That's something losers say. That is true. Uh Losers weepers. Who are you calling a loser? I'm not the one who lost the use of my leg. <laughs> Chloe just hates the disabled. Oh shit. I might be a loser, but at least I can walk, idiot! Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> Alright. But don't get used to it. Oh my god! Sucker! Chloe's the worst! Why are you even in my room? To eat your pudding, idiot! Oh, good. Uh, take that, creepy boy! Mission accomplished! I took your fucking pudding! I'll sign your cast, too. I'll mark my territory. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you owe me? I 
After I just fucking stole your pudding. You owe me, idiot. He should have just stood up for himself. Oh my god. You owe me more pudding. Thanks a lot. Anytime. Oh my god. I'm taking this guy for all he's worth. Oh, what a highlight. The largest pit in your Next stomach. Time, well, you know, I don't have a uh, I don't have a pit in my stomach because my stomach's full of pudding. Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. <laughs> I can't walk. But boy, I sure do hope Rachel Amber pulls through. Those guys look exhausted. I wonder whose fault that is, Chloe. Steal pudding from Rachel too. Eating the right foods keeps you healthy and happy, like pudding. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Yeah, I can't imagine, huh? <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Sure you were so fierce, and I just, I just froze. You were so reckless, and I was actually <laughs> having survival me? instincts. You saved my life. You put your life in danger. Don't fucking do that again. Just don't do that again. Yeah, don't die on me again. I'd really hate it if you were to die again. Listen, I, I like lesbians as much as the next guy. This does nothing for me. It probably shouldn't get in there. I mean, just in a character sense. I mean, hey, the Magookas are like 14. I still like buy their lesbianness more than this shit. Chloe, I need you to do something for me. I need you to get me some pudding. I need... Really I need... Don't a tailor. This no. game has on three occasions made you feel like a pedophile. Why would you Don't ever say that? Fucking cool you are. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that is the weirdest thing someone has said in my chat. Well, I wasn't stabbed, so... You know... I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah, what's here for Rachel? But then I saw Drew's pudding. Have you seen the pudding they serve here? A random psycho going around stabbing people for no reason. Yeah, sometimes random psychos do that. Chloe, like that dude on the bus in Canada who just like stabbed someone, Chloe. cut off his head, started Don't. eating his body. I've just been like swatting this guy away at every given opportunity. Haven't given him a chance. I was waiting for Elliot to be like a mega creeper or something. And maybe that's just why we never saw him in the first game. But God knows that there's going to be plenty of reasons why we never see people that were obviously going to school at this time in the next game. Now we know why Drew did, uh, did not show up in the next game. Because the school did not have a handicap fund. Frank, known bean smuggler. Was it? Thanks again for visiting. Drew's been so much happier since you came by and stole his fucking pudding. Oh, graffiti. <laughs> Just implicate yourself as, as being in here, Chloe. Good job. As discreet as ever. Oh my god, you're so... <laughs> as discreet as ever. Whatever is going on. I need to see if Damon knows where Sierra is. Shallow grave, probably. But how do I get him to tell me? Like mother, like daughter. All right. Easy enough. Huh. 412. If TV or, uh, wait. 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 All of these. If it's assault with a deadly weapon, then it could be... It could be any of these. Homeboy was busy. So in the very picture that you have posted here, scars and tattoos unknown has tattoos right here. Six foot one, six foot three. You are bad at this. The Polynesian guy. Known aliases. Thunder. Okay, at least they got this guy's height right. Scars, tattoos, inside left bicep. If the thunder don't get you, then the lightning will. Damn, this guy's cool. The fuck? Elliot? 
Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Oh my god, he is a crazy, isn't he? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Oh god, he is Oh the red flags. Are you really just following me here? Oh god, he's stalking me. Uh yeah, hey, did you follow me? Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. You're sending off I'm red not. flags. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be Look, red flags on girls are hot. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh man, do I just keep shooting him down? I like come on. At this point you are stalking me. Like the bridge is burned. Go away. <laughs> Listen. It's really important. I owe a lot of money to a guy named Nunya. Nunya fucking business. What has your relationship with her gotten you? I d mm. You you don't know what you're talking about. Red flag is making a point. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't her fault. And she like both of these are technically true. Like, it was my fault that I was being very, very stupid. Yeah, like, he's supposed to be in the right, but... The, like, here's the thing. He is the right. Like, like he is in the right in that, like, getting involved with Rachel has been terrible for me. But he's approaching it from such a, like, such an angle that I'm always able to have a comeback. Mostly because that's just the way the game's story is written. Like... Oh, hey, the game pretty much railroaded me into, this is my choice, I'm getting myself expelled. Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. Yeah, you know, Red Flags is raising a lot of good points. If that ever happened. <laughs> but he is a stalker. Like, major red flags. Huge stalker. He's absolutely right. It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. Uh, things are getting a little rapey in here. Look at that. He's blocking off my exit. This is bad. He's got his, like, arms spread out. This is, this is bad news. He's trying to corner me. Like, he raised a bunch of really good points, but he's giving off super rapey vibes right now. So all of those are now invalidated. <laughs> yeah, he's like, go ape with me right now. Elliot giving off insult. Oh my god. Wait. Elliot Roger, that's his name, right? The, the, the crazy guy? The crazy incel guy? Is that why they named him Elliot? Well, I'm just going to calmly walk past him very slowly. His vision is based on movement. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Oh, d oh. Why did you make me do that? <laughs> Can't you just listen to me? Uh Call for help or calm him. Well, this is a girl boss. <laughs> so, we got a girl boss our way out of getting raped by an incel. Here we go, gamers. Like, he's he's locked the door on us now. This is super rapey. What's really going on? Oh, God. This is a boss fight. Yeah, now this is a real game. Now that we're about to get potentially raped or something. Oh, God. I, I do need help. You're correct. I do need help. I need help immediately. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Attempting to move on. I oh, fuck! Need things to hurry up and get you, here. Oh god, he won. Oh god. Can't you see? I just want to help you. 
You're going to assault me now? <laughs> That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel. That's how far I'll go to protect myself, you crazy ass. Some of you guys are alright. Don't come to Blackwell tomorrow. Yeah, fires. Uh, Rachel did this. You feel like a girl boss now? <laughs> yeah, are we gonna do the dramatic hit by a truck exit again? Like, every time he leaves, it's just more and more violent. Yes. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? That's what I was gonna say. It'd be funny if she turned around and he just like turned into a skeleton. It just turned into a pile of bones. It's like those scenes in SpongeBob where it's like, hey, if we're underwater, how could there be a fire? It's like, if I'm dead, how can I be here? He just turns into a skeleton. Yeah, remember when she was, like, super pissed at her dad for being dead in the first game? And now she's just, like, she's just kind of cool. Like, yeah, I I've made peace with my dad's death. Because we need to have, we need her to have a character arc with that. Because we forgot to give her one in the first game. Except she's mad. And then Max goes into Cripple Chloe timeline. And then Chloe doesn't really talk about her dad anymore after that. As if she kind of knows what happened. I'd be less upset about my dad's death if he came back as a ghost. Oh, Frank got fucked up. Well, Frank, it's probably not your first time getting stabbed, and it won't be your last. Chol in this game is only acting like Chol if you want her to be. Yeah, like, I've been desperately trying to, like, stay consistent with Life is Strange Chol. What, you're just gonna get her addicted to drugs again? I don't know, it seems like she's kicked it once. She could probably do it again. The knife is pretty girl boss. I- I do have your money. However, I'd like to keep this money for myself. So I'm gonna stab ya. I've got the money right here. Your money. Want it? How the fuck? Good fucking job. Ugh, you're so worthless, Chloe. Leave her alone. Shut up. <laughs> He's just done with all this shit. I'm just trying to help. What the good's that doing ya? Yeah, a whole lot of good. It's like some kind of anime. A girl's first time should be special. No. Okay. Is she gonna get like addicted after one fucking after one hit of heroin, I don't think that's how that works. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Oh, don't worry, I'll be dead way before she dies. What do I do Depends on the Frank? person. Frank! What is then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Is Frank gonna have the boss fight for us? Oh! <laughs> he just kicked me in the fucking head. Did Frank have the boss fight off screen? There's no way. Uh, wh wh where's Frank? No. No. Our demon. Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. You skipped. Fucking skipped. The boss fight. It happened off screen. You know what? Let's consult the hand for this one, shall we? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? That's about right. Seems like that's a 100% chance of fucking bullshit.
you build up this guy for the entire fucking game. He 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 stabs Rachel, our our precious Rachel. Where's the cat for this pen? I don't want this to dry out. You you build this guy up for the entire fucking game, and it's just like, oh yeah, Frank already suffering from a stab wound. He just killed him off screen. Don't worry about it. You're good. We didn't even get to see our boy Frank. Our boy fucking Frank. We didn't even get to see him. Just like go ham on this guy. Because why why would we want to see that? When we can just, like, you know, talk to fucking Rachel Amber's stupid-ass junkie mom. Oh, I'm pissed. Could have one fucking cool thing happen. Could have one fucking cool thing happen in this goddamn shitty-ass game. It's like, the one interesting thing that you can have happen and you choose to skip it. Let's talk to Rachel's shitty-ass junkie mom. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. Of course we need to talk about what happened. Let's not actually see what happened. So shit. And I promise that Rachel... Can never know. I don't understand. Are you gaslighting me right now? I'm just, I'm so fucking, you know. I'd like to consult the hand again. I don't care about any of this. Like, I didn't care about any of this before, but like now it's just like, I have zero investment. Like, this is what it's all been leading up to. You beat this before. You can beat it again. Nah. I've decided against that. I can't. <laughs> I was I joking. I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... My mom at least she lies and says she's gonna me. try and beat it. I've decided I like so heroin much. again. You know what? Heroin, pretty good shit. She's so strong. Oh, now that I've heard about Rachel Amber, maybe I don't like heroin. Maybe I like Rachel Amber more than heroin. I thought my dad was perfect. Guess what? Now he's dead. Also, that that syringe is very shiny. Rachel Amber is my heroine. And my heroine. How much worse has it gotten? This is about a 100% chance of bullshit. Is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna protect her. That much is certain. Don't leave. Don't do it. Don't go, Sarah. Stop. No, I'm come back. back. Yeah, like, I, I can't make jokes about her except, like, huh. That's just kind of my mom, huh? Except instead of heroin, like, for her, it's wine. You know who else has an addictive personality? My mom! Yeah, I think we're coming up on the end here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, the final choice in the game is a gaslight. We gatekeep Rachel from the truth by gaslighting her. And that's the most girl boss thing we can do. Couldn't be an easier fucking choice. Oh. We should have played as Frank. You had to kill your own buddy. How's that feel, dude? I want to go through... Fr oh, Papa Juice there. We don't get to see how Frank got his jacket. We need the Frank spinoff game. Oh, he poured one out for his homie. Frank is so real! I love Frank, man. <laughs> ah, the psycho incel is just like, oh, I'm so butthurt. Oh, God, here's patient zero. <laughs> oh, uh. oh, my God, the lighthouse from Life is Strange. Ah, the fuck is this lighthouse so important? Why are lighthouses important in bad games? Uh, oh god, it's still going! Oh no, we gotta see how Chloe gets full blue. Oh no! No! Oh, she's converted! I sure hope Max comes along in like two years. And, and decides to be a huge fucking third wheel. 
And Chloe's got her Twin Peaks license plate now. Ah, uh, she got her car registered. Good job. Hey, Rachel! Aren't you having fun getting a tattoo in this junkyard where you get buried? Oh, the one choice that matters doesn't even matter! <laughs> like, double doesn't matter. They keep fucking doing this! Because Rachel just dies anyway, who the fuck cares? And that entire ending sequence had like nothing to do with the choice we made. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. There's another ending based on the choice. Is there actually? I bet Rachel's just miserable the entire time. She's not having any fun at all. <laughs> One percent of people. One percent gave it back to him. Like, I just saw the donation thing first. That's all it was. Sparred withdrew over pudding. I'm I'm in the Chad 18%. Uh look at us us gal pals, us girl bosses. Ugh. Thanks for playing Before the Storm. Don't miss the bonus farewell episode available in the Deluxe Edition. How about I- how about I do miss that? Oh, that's ten fucking dollars. Oh, look! Nature is healing. Can we play a good game next Wednesday? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll play a really good game. It's called Life is Strange 2. But yeah, worse than Life is Strange 1. That is very, very tough. Because Life is Strange 1 has time travel. And instantaneously, that means it's, it's going to have some serious fucking problems. Like, as far as plot and consistency goes, that means it like, it, it has a bunch of writing problems. But in terms of just, like, story progression and characters... Ugh. Life It's Strange dragged its fucking feet a lot. But yeah, the time travel also gave us opportunities to have a lot more fun and video gamey type stuff. But it also... Didn't let us do a lot of it. Like, not often enough to be like, oh, this is also a puzzle game? No. Ah, it's... I want to say... That this one was worse. Just because, like... The story was so... Meandering. Like... As far as characters, there's like... Fucking Rachel Amber, who the fuck else is there? A lot of people were either inconsistent or retconned. Frank was there. I feel like we didn't get enough Frank. Really. Um, oh god, the villain was awful and he gets killed off screen. That was so bad. That was so bullshit. Like, uh, like David was better in this than he was in Life is Strange. David was much, much better in this than he was in Life is Strange. And, like, maybe that's just because in Life is Strange, Chloe has beaten him down so much that he's just given the fuck up. There was Barb. We did have Barb. But honestly, like, there's so little from this that I even fucking remember. So, honestly, dude, just, ugh. Take me back to Life is Strange. David, kick that table. <laughs> Stupid gun. Ah. Uh, they both suck. This is awful. I can't wait for the fucking second one because I have no idea what happens. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be- it's gonna be great.